This is a HeadGum Podcast. In the 2016 NBA Western Conference Finals, the Steph Curry-led Golden State Warriors prevailed over the Kevin Durant-Russell Westbrook Oklahoma City Thunder in an instant classic seven-game series. The outcome, which led Durant to live out the cliche, if you can't beat them, join them, deserting the Thunder for the Warriors that offseason and then leading Golden State to two championships, proved one of the most earth-shattering in NBA history and arguably the most consequential news story in all of 2016. Well, history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes, to quote Mark Twain, though its actual attribution is unknown. But let's just say Mark Twain. And today, another seismic semi-soft final matchup will be fought out in the Tournament of Champions. Squaring up, Chipotle, the runaway winner of the Rumbleys region, smothering Yoshinoya's hopes for a Cinderella run in its crib. And Prest, the victor in the Acai region, felling fellow smoothie bowl vendor Jamba in a 7-10 split decision. Who will be the Warriors and potentially birth a dynasty? And who will be the Thunder and slowly dissolve into tanking for draft picks? This week on Doughboys, the second semi-soft final matchup of Munch Madness 2023, the Tournament of Champions, Bowl, Chipotle. Versus... Prest. That's a go. Welcome to Doughboys, the podcast about chain restaurants. I'm Nick Weiger, along with my co-host, David Bowley, the Spoon Man, Mike Mitchell. What? Like David Bowie? Like David Bowie, but with a bowl. With an L. Courtesy so of David Bowley. Courtesy of Brennan from Pebble Beach, which I didn't know was a place. I thought that was just a golf course. You oh, can yeah. live in Pebble Beach? You can live in Pebble Beach, yeah. Tough to put a foundation down there, though. Wait a second, yeah. you say it so confidently. Yeah, how do you know do that? Do you know it? Like, I... Or are you just agreeing with... The idea, because it feels like you you said it in a way that made me feel like you like you've sold real estate in Pebble right. Beach. Right? Like, yeah, like you can live in Pebble Beach. Okay. <laughs> uh, David Bowley performing Piggy Stardust, Piggy Stardust, and the Spiders from Mars bars. Love you, Mitch. Roastspoonman at gmail dot com. Wow. I was gonna try to improvise. I'm I'm not gonna try it anymore. Mm-hmm. But I was gonna try to like you know ground. Bowl control to major Mitch or something, you know, something along those lines. Something ground can bowl? <laughs> something equally as yeah. good as I just said yeah. off the top of my head, which was really good and improvised. Um, Pebble Beach real estate, very expensive. Oh, yeah. I, mean, no, I, I thought imagine. it was going to be in Florida. It's not in Florida. No, it's in California. Yeah. I know that much because my grandpa correct. golfed there once. So okay. It's like one of his like things he wanted to do. Look, my my dad golfed at Pebble Beach once as well. Yeah. And did I know that it was like a place where you could have a house or home yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> why is the quincy guys were here uh, this i know this past weekend chankton micus wu-tang the whole gang it was chankton's 40th we went to muso and frank hbd chankton great uh, birthday spot uh, and, and micus is, is today micus 40th HBD birthday is today. micus and Wu-Tang was here. His birthday's not till August. Okay. Well, happy uh, early, early birthday, Wu-Tang. Yeah, you don't have to say that now. Fellow August birthday buddies. That's right. Yeah. Um, but uh, we went to Musso and Frank's. Uh, I told you, I've I've lost 17 pounds. Uh, I went on the scale the day after they left. I've lost five pounds. Now. Mm-hmm. So 12 came back. Um, I, I think that it's just what the, it's just daily. You said that I didn't lose anything. any weight. It was all water weight. No, I didn't say that. Okay. I said it's po- like the 17 was like, it, it, it's all standard deviations, right? It's all on an aggregate. You're losing weight. You're losing, you've lost weight over time, mm-hmm. but you just, you gotta look at the trend lines. You can't look at the day to day fluctuations. Mm-hmm. Cause like, yeah, you might, you like, you might be, Oh, I'm down 17, but that might've been a, a particular okay, low see? point. I'm just saying. It sounds like he doesn't think I lost. 17. No, when you when you think of it in that in the, those terms, you start thinking of like, oh, I lost all this weight and then he regained it instead of like, well, maybe it di- wasn't already wasn't down all that far. Like I think it down. is possible that I did. Yeah, I think he's upset because he got the art to be redone. For, <laughs> it's true. Uh, for the Doughboys, and so he did have it reflect, and now yeah. he spent out a lot of money. It, like so, it is. I understand from that point of view that he feels like you know it's money wasted. Yeah. You scale down the art like 05 <laughs> percent, <laughs> but you can notice the difference. You can feel the difference, even if you don't perceive it. Like you the know, pants right. are a little bit looser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was a wild, a long, wild weekend, and uh, and we yeah we ended at Musso and Frank's, home of uh. Once upon a time in Hollywood, which mm. I don't know if they knew or cared about. Um, sure, they know it there. No, they. I would argue that 
it was famous before that movie. Too. I think so too. Yeah, like, it's yeah. one of the oldest like establishments in Hollywood. Yeah, it's not the it reason that I yeah. took them there. I guess probably for... more the reason it was in the movie is because it was already famous. Yeah. Mm. like like it, uh, one of the like probably a handful of places that are left in L.A. that are still the establishment that they once were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I took them to Hollywood Boulevard. Uh-huh. Uh Also in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's true. <laughs> You took him to Hollywood, which is also in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> you take him to the Capitol Records building, famous from Independence Day. For, yeah. You know what? We did we did see we did see the Capitol Records building. Wow. We went to the Frolic Room. We went all we went all over the place. I should, I tried to show him some older bars. Frolic Room, famous from a Bill Simmons podcast. Nephew Kyle likes to go there. Is that true? That's true, yeah. Nephew Kyle hangs out there. You might have seen him. I don't know if I saw Nephew Kyle in there. I, I that it would be a, the only celebrity sighting. Because wow. you know what? We didn't see you. That would have been a celebrity sighting. Oh, come on. You got to go out the west side for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was not, wasn't Can't be happen. hanging out in Hollywood and east side for it that. Was an, it was an east side. It was an east side trip. <laughs> and then last night, you know what? I went and saw 65. And I had a good time. Ooh, That's fun. I want to see that movie badly. I, I, I don't know if I should discuss this on this because I think people will think that I'm pathetic. But we kind of talked about it beforehand. But I went to the Americana. Uh-huh. And I got a parking ticket. Yeah. I, I mean, I got my yeah. my parking ticket yeah. to park in the parking structure, and I went and I and I and I got it. Uh, uh, what's it called? Validated. Validated at the end of the night after watching sixty five. Yeah. I enjoy. I had fun with sixty five. Go by um, yourself. I went by myself. I did a solo movie trip. I did that on Friday night. Great to do it was that. Great. What a solo Love movie. It. There was there was me and two other people in the theater. That was oh, it. all right. Well, that's oh, great. Uh, they definitely thought I was the weird guy. Yeah. Um, Let's get jacking off, right? Uh, <laughs> You should we, have seen we, some we, of those we were in the same row as this guy who's going to jack off. Let's move seats. Or <laughs> you know what? We were in the same row, and I did make that choice. I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to sit in the same row as them. <laughs> uh, it was assigned seating, but I and I was assigned that. I like picked that row. Yeah. But then the people who were behind never like didn't show up, and then I was like, I'm going to still just sit in the same row as them. Um, and I did. Re- yeah, I, I jacked off. Uh, real, real quick, I've told this story in the podcast before, but I, I I do love it. Which I had a friend who worked at a movie theater, mm-hmm. and they had a they had a front row theater masturbator in a pretty full theater. Um, that they had to like get security on, and the movie uh, was Les Misérables. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, to be fair, I think it's like you know, was it the brown note will make you like shit your pants? Yeah. Like, when um, what, you know, when Russell Crowe sings, it also right. makes you the come white note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the white note, the white note, <laughs> or like pearl note. I wonder what's the color there. White nose, good nose. White nose, yeah. Good. Listen, I don't know. I guess asking I about to... it. The I uh, <laughs> I went to go to a lone movie on Friday, which I always feel slightly self conscious to, yeah. mm-hmm. to go do, but uh, but I'm also okay with myself to go. And someone came in mid movie, same at the Americana, beautiful, the IMAX theater, and plenty of seats mm-hmm. throughout. Sat down right next to me. Oh right boy, right next to me, and it really like distracted me for the 15 minutes that they decided to sit there. I was like, why? Like you yeah. have so many. You yeah. had a lot of options. Yeah, why right next to me? Doesn't that doesn't make that Yeah, doesn't. it was not it was a very like I felt unnerved by the entire interaction. I people, feel like you have to understand etiquette of theater. No, people 100%. from last night probably asking the same thing. I was probably Well, you weren't sitting right next to me. I was, like, was, I was like fifteen chairs. That's fine. That's it's normal. Totally fine. That's great. But then I did move over closer and closer during the movie. <laughs> <laughs> You're also a back row guy, right? Were you in the back row? Interesting. Interesting you bring that up. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how interesting it is, but it, you brought it up and I yeah. will answer. I was, for the arc light, I was a big back row person. Yeah. But here's the deal. With Dolby, like the Dolby theaters, there is like like row, like the the second row back from the aisle. Maybe it's row E. There's okay. like a, there's like a very level row. But okay. I used to be okay with, the, I, and I still am okay with the last row. Because so many people, I think, don't want to be in the last row. And you're above everyone. You know, like there's, there's, it sure. feels like less distractions to me. I don't I know. I like a last row where you can put your feet out because mm. there's no chair in front of you. That's great. Yeah. That's a nice seat. The bar instead of another row in front of you, yeah. or ideally, no, like just a clean aisle. I mean, that's, that's great. the way to go. It's yeah. a dream. That's good. Yeah. Um, but Dolby, like some of the newer theaters kind of messed that you're up. You're saying Dolby. Yeah. It I sounds like yeah. you're saying Dolby. I thought he was kind of like trying to again oh, create yeah. the the Doughboys podcast universe by saying it's like Dough. Do- Dolby sound. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. What, what am I saying? Am I saying Dolby or am I saying Dolby? It you, sounds like you're saying Dolby. Yeah. It's like like oh, Dolby I meant to be saying Dolby. All right. Dolby. Dolby. Yeah. Dolby. 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 Is that what is Dolby? What is Dolby. what is that Harry? Is there a character named Dolby? Oh, it's Dolby. Dolby. You're thinking Dolby. Dolby the Dolby. house elf. Yeah. 
Love those books. Mm -hmm. Love that author that much. (laughs) I mean, I like I like them more now. uh, Yeah, yeah. I like the author. That's it. Um, (laughs) I wasn't into him. Now I'm really into him. Uh, but so I went to the the I went to the I wonder how you'll feel about this. I went okay. to the Americana. Mm-hmm. I got my ticket validated, and I went out and I went to the exit, and I put the thing, and it was like eight bucks. And I was like, I got validated, so I pushed the help button, and the lady's like, "What's up?" And I was like, "Hey, it says eight dollars. I got it validated, and uh, it says eight dollars." And she's like, "Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about it. You have to pay and then take the receipt back and get a refund." And I was like. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I said this. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to do this. And she was like, I was like, I'll, go, I'll, can I just go back to the movie theater and like try to validate it again? She's like, yes. And I was like, okay. And so I backed up. There was no one there. It was like absolutely empty. By the way, I want to get into this in the grander scheme of things. It, they've made it, make it impossible for you to ever like back, back up. From, up. It's like, yeah, it's. And it, look, I've, this has I've, happened to me before and like where it didn't, val- cause yeah. I, this is an AMC issue, I guess. Hey, before you exit, buddy. But that's, 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 I, that's what I should have done. But I figured there was no one there. Uh, and that's the same thing that happened last time. And the, the, she was just like, I should just let me go last time, which yeah. makes more sense. Yeah. To have, have for, and what so. What does it cost them? Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't cost anything. And also, I don't want to pay. That's the thing. I didn't want to pay a few extra bucks to fucking, what's his name? The fucking asshole. Rick Caruso? I don't want to pay Rick Caruso three extra bucks and yeah, then never get it back. Yeah, you're so much money to his campaign yeah. fund. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted LA to look like the Americana. <laughs> <laughs> my mom lives in the Americana. It's, Wait, really? Yeah, my mom lives above the Keels. Wow. Yes. So my mom moved out here we, from New York, and that's where she lives, and- Loves it. Loves her time there. Your mom, yeah. and maybe we'll bleep it, or we can bleep all of this yeah. if you would like. No, you can keep it. Bug Bugman. Bug Bugman Bug no. does live there. Yeah. Bugman lives at the Americana. Bugman lives above the movie theater, right? He he lives very close to the movie theater. Yeah. Yes, I think. Uh, yeah, basically next to it. Um. So yeah, I should have gone that entrance. Yeah. I should have gotten. But anyways, I went back to the movie theater. The doors locked, Wags. So I I moved my car into like the valet area. Yeah. Oh boy. I get back down. <laughs> I put my card in. It's nine bucks now, and I look and I and I see that the valet isn't gated in. I fucking rolled out of there. At Hell yeah! Cent. Hell Boom. yeah! Now am I am I a bad person for doing that? No, for not paying for no. a fucking parking structure. They yeah. already paid for like. You're fine. I went there with my wife. We got some snacks. We got seats. It's like eighty bucks. I was like, you yeah. can at least give me free parking. For exactly. I, I just spent a lot of money at your establishment. Fuck I'm, Caruso. Fuck Caruso. <laughs> I'll tell you this, uh, what I find to be the worst parking movie experience mm-hmm. is to go see Universal City Walk. Then you have to go with that receipt. You have to get the they receipt. they give you money. They give you cash. In your hand, cash. Mm-hmm. I don't understand how that works or why like this is a good idea. It's a bad, it's, sometimes they'll also just wait, like if you like they'll either be like, you're fine and just come through yeah. if you're going to the movie. But I think probably some people try to use that. You know what I mean? But Right. They kind of take it, they size you up. Yeah. Are you here just for the IMAX? Yeah. All right, we'll let you yeah. through. They see me and they're like, that guy is not fitting on the Mario Kart ride. Let's <laughs> let him fucking go. This guy movie. needs to see Shrek 4D. And he knows it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, howdy ho to Spoon Nation. Uh, let's hit him with a little drop. They made up their minds. And they started snacking. <laughs> that was the parody song I was going to sing you. So that's a little bit of a left turn from Gore Vidal, which I thought you might have been riffing on no. with the song. Wow, 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 he's very nice. You know, playing it from my phone in the room, there was a thing of like, it feels like maybe we're over drops at this point. We've done no, the show for I, eight know, years. I, I think that that should have been in Dolby sound. And <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I was born in 1993, so I had never heard the wow. song until my spouse, who was eight years my senior, played it for me a few weeks back. When I heard Mitch sing this parody on the latest episode, I got so excited that I recognized it that I made this drop. Can't wait to see you guys in Chicago this June. Enjoy. Victor from Chicago. Wow, thanks, Victor. Love that. Lovely drop. Victor, that's a great drop. That's a great drop. Um, and we have a great guest, Mitch. We do, why? Formally introducing him from Unspooled and How Did This Get Made? Paul Shear is back. Hi, Paul. Guys, so excited to be here. And sorry that I interrupted early on. Not I, I already all. was already, Please. Like, I didn't want to involve, but uh, I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be here for Munch Madness. 
Uh, and I, I have a gift for you guys. Wow. Uh, like, I don't know this if I should huge. bring yeah. this out now or mm -hmm. not, but first of all, I haven't been in the new studio space. It's amazing. And I was at this weekend, this Vanity Fair Oscar party where everybody goes. It's a very big deal event. I've never been invited there before. And I saw something and I was like, I need to bring it to the two of you. Wow. Wow. Which is, hold on, here it is. Wow. Got you guys. It's only one, but it's an unopened Vanity Fair Oscar water. <laughs> wow. Look at that. So this is a, a true uh, from wow. the party that I, I figured I, I carried that did not open it, carried it out contraband style. So now you guys, you could, Fuck. you could celebrate with this if you'd like, or you could just keep this, uh, you know, we could put it on a shelf. <laughs> yeah. We put part of our tableau. Yeah, look at that. This, it's, we, we, for we, audio we, listeners, it's a, it's like a metal bottle that huge. has the vanity fair and the Oscar party logo on it with the yes, year, the, with the year. So that, mm. you know, this is the, and it, the location and everything. Yeah, so you're you're not getting this on the outside. No, there's only a handful. Not. You know, you're going to be drinking the same water that Gigi Haddad is drinking, the same <laughs> water that Michael Keaton is drinking, the uh, same water that the 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 cast of the Fablemans will be uh, partaking in. So this, this is wow. this know. is huge. This is huge. Yes. What a what a generous I mean, gift. I God want you. it. You know, I want it. If the thing is, the bottle is even if it's opened, right. Mm -hmm. It's still the bottle has value. Like yes. the bottle you'd still want to keep. So. Right. Like you could put this on the shelf full or empty. Mm -hmm. No one will know the difference because of the aluminum. Um, but, you know, you could, you could feel it, feel that weight. You know what? It, what you know? This thing is full. This is a yeah. full oh, bottle. Oh, yeah. I didn't open it. Can I, I, can I, yeah, yeah. I just, I just want to feel it for myself. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah I can confirm it's full. Probably. It's a, definitely full. You're probably unopened, used to that feeling. Carried that, okay. carried it out. Uh, you know, no one stopped me. And I, yeah. I think it'd be odd if they did, but, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I came here, you know, making bearing sure that gifts. we, you know, bearing gifts. That's, that's yeah. amazing. This, what, this, what a nice act yeah. of generosity. We've also God both you. admitted to, to, uh, I, I, we're both admitting to some crimes, I guess. Uh, yeah. I mean, that should only be drank on premises right <laughs> while i'm celebrating uh hollywood's big night you know mm -hmm, I, i'm mm -hmm. not supposed to take that out to the normies mm -hmm. you know i mean i got in there and that's why they don't invite people like me to parties like that because they know i'm gonna steal their water I'm yeah gonna bring it, i'm gonna bring it out to the world this is the thing wags and i are we're never gonna sniff the oscars sure. unless there's some sort of the whale prequel or <laughs> <laughs> the whale too two whales <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I, I could see you guys having a Matt Damon, Ben Affleck moment. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, maybe you, you uh, maybe there's a movie written about you by you. Sure. You know, this could, this could be it. I was thinking uh, of another shoe biopic, but I was <laughs> how they came up with a Converse All Star. By the way, this water or that have stretch where it sucked to wear New Balance for a little while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guys who brought New Balance back. Yeah. What about the uh, you know the 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 two guys who have to figure out how to get rid of all those Adidas. The the Kanye Adidas, right? Oh yeah, they're, yeah, they're that's sitting good. on that's like one point six billion dollars of like shoes. They have so many shoes they can't sell. <laughs> like, what do you do with it? That that's a perfect problem for the two of you guys. Yeah, that's a, that's a great one. I, unfortunately, I was thinking like Dahmer's been done. Unfortunately for you, because I uh -huh. feel like that would have been. <laughs> I just feel like it would have been okay. I've it been told I bear a physical resemblance to Jeffrey Dahmer, which is not an insult. Particularly my my like passport photo, which I used as a. Uh, uh, like an avatar for a while. Mm -hmm. Looks a lot like Jeff Jeffrey Dahmer's mugshot. Well, are, do you feel like you're happy that you've been in a long-term relationship? Are you happy yeah. that you are because, you know, do you feel like people would maybe like swipe swipe left or right just based on not knowing anything about you? But right. yeah, if you're giving off that air. Yeah, I gotta say, guy, yeah. a lot of ladies love the murder stuff. I feel like you maybe would get a lot of right swipes. That's the issue though. But then if it's like, are you like a murder? Like, do you want to be murdered? Yeah, after, so I will say after be. the first date, they'll have suspicions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sheer, this is a, an amazing gift. Thank you so much. Yeah, for, thank you so much. This. I'm going to take it home, give it a great spot in my place. And by the way, it does have Ozempic in it, so you'll be fine. Like, okay, great. This is great for you. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100% drink that. <laughs> yeah, last year it was adenochrome. This yeah. year it's Ozempic. Can we put, should we put it on that? Why? Is, can we put it on? Are we allowed to put stuff on the oh, show? yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying we're you allowed guys to, do to it. You're going to desecrate the X Files the movie. And, and, the X Files <laughs> movie is pretty cool. It's, yeah. it's, look at this fucking run. Look at this. We got Close Encounters of the, of yeah. the Third Kind, Contact, and the X Files movie all lined up on VHS. That's a badass. Sol a solid, uh, yeah, solid grouping. I'll put it up there. Yeah, there we go. It's made the wall. It's Love made it. the wall. Wow. 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 Someone's uh, going to steal it. I don't trust. Steal it? I don't trust Amir. 
or Jake. <laughs> Casey will keep an eye on him. Casey, yeah. I'll make sure Jake and Amir don't steal your Oscar water. All right, this okay. is great. Po- I'll just be fair. Post Oscar party water. That's right. And, you know, I, I don't know what they're doing. So I don't know what they're drinking at the Oscars. I don't want to <laughs> misrepresent what. Yeah. I'm taking it home. <laughs> sure, we're talking bowls this this yes. week. And I'm curious because, you know, uh, you're certainly someone, who, a, a working actor, uh, on camera a lot. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're like, you know, that, that informs your eating decisions. Are you someone who goes to bowls as yes. like, a, like a sort mm. of a healthful option? Uh, I don't even consider it a healthful option. I just prefer it. I feel like I can manage my mm-hmm. food better in a bowl. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about like the Patton Oswalt jokes of like, put it all in a bowl. I, I like, I like a nice salad. Uh, we're going to be talking about a couple bowls today, but I, I gravitate towards a bowl. I feel like it's a maybe it is a fresher option. It just seems I'm sort yeah. of being put together. I like it. Favorite is it like your like your top dish versus like a plate? Well, plates I don't really get, and this is the thing. Interesting, because like, I mean, for the most part, fast casual, maybe you get a plate, maybe, yeah. but plates are not really in the mix that much. You know what? In the battle of plate versus bowl, at, at least at restaurants, I want the bowl. You always want the bowl. the bowl. Yeah, the bowl is better than the plate. Right? Mix I think it so. all I agree. together. Yeah. Well, well and this was this was a thing... barbecue place. It's great to get a plate. Sure, but that's a special case. But that's yeah, that's thing. not a thing. I mean, it's a thing, but it's like it's, a, it's like to, like what you can't get a plate at any like red like like red robin and things of that nature yes you get a plate but yeah. i mean like a place that you're going to go in and bring your own food to a place i don't feel like plates are out there the if, if i want to say like uh tender greens or That's, something yeah, I maybe know, i yeah. would rather have the bowl i would rather have the bowl right you'd want the bowl see i'd rather have a plate of tender greens but mm. i don't consider because that's more of like a sliced salmon or like a steak right. or chicken like i don't i like that but it, mm-hmm. i feel like the bowls that we're going to be discussing are very much you know what? I've I've got it. If I if I, I'm saying if Chipotle had that that if Chipotle offered a plate, or let's say uh, this is a great this is a great point of view. Piquito yeah. Mas. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not as interested in the Piquito Mas plates. They have some good 100%. protein. No, give me the bowl. Yeah, but I would rather have a big bowl of. It keeps stuff. everything together too. I feel like again, you're on the move. You can grab it. You can put that top back on it. Move around. It's a great deal. I, I like the bowl. Yeah. I, also I, feel like I it stays I did, warmer. I did say that. I, I think that's true. I, in one of our last episodes, I said that plates are now allowed. But I don't know if we, I don't know if we stuck. I don't with think them. we're actually honoring that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fine. I mean, if you'd gotten a plate and were like, I went to Chipotle and I got a plate. Which is impossible. Which is impossible. Let's say you've done that. Like, uh-huh. let's say that's what what had happened. We would still let you vote on the episode. So I guess they are allowed. But we're, it's a bowl tournament. We're it's talking a bowl bowls. tournament. It's a bowl tournament. I'll tell you. Sometimes I bowl things that should be plated at the house. Uh, my wow. kids, my kids will like my kids like waffles, but it's a mess. Yeah. So I I put them That's in good. a bowl, like I you know I cut them up and put them in a bowl, and they're just going to town. The, the syrup everywhere. It's like just get out of the bowl. Bowl is nice. Like, you know, you got your sides. You protect yourself. It's good. It's here's, great. Here's great the thing move. I'll do because we got some bit. We have some big ass like huge bowls. We have yeah. Like some they're like fa oh. size bowls. Yeah. 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 So like if I if I'll make like some spaghetti marinara and like you know like a, a roast some broccoli on the side I'll put, put that in a big bowl won't mix it up no, you have yeah, that option yeah. but here's your pasta sitting there and there's just like kind of that bowl that you kind that of broccoli it. next to it yeah it's yeah, kind of exactly. like yeah. uh, the way that they have those plates that are divided for kids too it's yeah like, but I like that you put it on the side yeah That's, I, I like that you know what I, I you just reminded me that I had pancakes this weekend I went to uh is it Clifton is it Clifton's, Clifton's Cafe. The cafe, the formerly Cafe 101. No, yeah. no, Cl- no, no, oh, no. Clifton's is the downtown cafe. That, I yes. like this new place. It's it's basically Cafe 101. It Clark's. With better, Clark, Clark Street. With yeah. better food. Yeah, it's great. It's good. Really good Same food. atmosphere, better I food. liked Cafe 101 food, but I, but but this is, the food was really good in my opinion. I feel like Cafe 101 food had very solid choices mm-hmm. in a menu with a lot of options. I feel like Clark's has a more, like, across the board, we're probably getting a lot more sevens than, like, a couple tens yeah. and a lot of threes. For people sure. who don't That's fair. who, who yeah. aren't who don't fair. live in LA, for our listeners who don't know Hollywood, uh, uh, Cafe One Hundred One, aka the One Hundred One Coffee Shop, you may know as the Diner from Swingers. Swingers, yeah. Swingers has it in there, which ties into our old joke. With it, but I forget what we were, what the joke. We were was. talking about M- Musso and Franks. So yeah, we popularized it. Famous from Swingers. Yeah, I guess. famous from yeah. Swingers. Yeah. And they they actually they kind of uh which one on one feel I feel like didn't do that as much, but they have all the they have a bunch of movie. They have a bunch of like pictures of movies on the wall. Yeah. And Swingers is on there. And I think maybe uh um 
Tarantino's uh, the early one there. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. Hmm. But uh, the, they had uh, uh, Heat up there. Oh, Heat. heat. But, no, but is then that the, the big, restaurant the, or is that the hotel? Because the, the hotel. No, this, is, okay. this is in the restaurant. In the restaurant. Oh, okay. in the I didn't Because the hotel, okay. the hotel has all and has the 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 paint the pictures the drawings. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Of celebrities, but in the restaurant now. But the funny thing is, the biggest one is uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Comedians in cars getting with it. Judd. A lot of fun. Getting co- comedians in cars getting coffee at the at the past past Doughboys guest and future Doughboys guest. Judd and J- Judd's coming back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love Judd on again. <laughs> now, would you guys ever get into a car and do a drive through like a bunch of video episodes? Like that could be a really great series. I just gave you right here. That's a great idea. <laughs> Driving through. <laughs> With the Doughboys, you yeah. know, like dry, Doughboy drive through. I will I'd, say that the YouTube fast food reviewer, like, yeah. ecosystem is all, like, guys in cars going right. to drive through. So, like, then we're very much like like Joey's World Tour, peep this out. That's us now. Right. Which, which we already kind of are. We're close to that. And we're, and we're on YouTube. We're kind of morphing are, into so. that. Yeah, but the, so maybe because we should you go already more. exist, it's just it's an it, like you don't have to stop though. You, you sure. drive through and you're driving around, so it's a little you're stealing a little bit from Jerry, and you're stealing <laughs> a little bit from this YouTube culture. Yeah, so mix and match. I thought you were saying <laughs> if we would ever be in comedians and cars getting coffee, Wager thinks we're not comedians, which is one thing, and then <laughs> two, I stand by that. Jerry, I think was, most of our listeners do too. <laughs> I am a comedian, damn it. Um, I, give me something. I have yeah. nothing else. In, well, what am I supposed to say? You're I'm an a actor. Talker? Okay, you're right, a working I'm an actor. actor. You got a um, you get a, yeah, you get a blockbuster peacock movie show actor. coming out. You have a huge uh, well, Amazon Prime the... movie out. I'm a comedian. I, I am a comedian. <laughs> uh, That's fine. If we if we were in comedians in, in cars getting coffee, all right, joke. then tell us a joke. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was make a slap, funny man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just give us I a can't joke, do it right? on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're a comedian, you'd be able to do it. I was going to say that if we were in if we were in comedians cars getting coffees. Jerry Simon will be like, they keep asking to go to the bathroom <laughs> or in the car. <laughs> well, now, These besides, guys are getting car sick. That's but, what I mean. You do get car sick. I do sick. get car sick. Yeah. Besides the spot on impression. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I Again, I, I think that uh, maybe what we should what we should probably try to do is find out where Jerry's car is going to be and just drive alongside of him. And then yeah. kind of get a little extra. And then we can go, we can go, oh, oh, all right. <laughs> and then we can take as many bathroom breaks as yeah, we yeah. want, right. basically. The the issue there, though, is that you feel, you're like, oh, there's Jerry. We, we, we got him. Look, look at that. There's that Model T there. And then you yeah. go up, pull up next to him. It's Jay Leno. Oh, uh, we got Leno. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> Who looks a little bit like Fan of the Opera now because he yeah. yeah. his face off from touching those old cars. The Model T, you start cranking, it just blows up in your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this car's run by TNT. <laughs> 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 uh sure we have a, a masked singer mask or something <laughs> I don't know what the equivalent is sure we have a we have an ongoing discussion on yeah. this to to left turn a little bit uh, we have an ongoing discussion on this podcast that i want you to weigh in on yeah which is are, are you a christmas guy you like christmas oh Still very christmas? much so. big christmas very guy? much so mitch is also a big christmas guy in your like when you think of uh, of christmas holistically sure. and think of the, the season do you consider it to be a cookie holiday yes Yes, immediate yes. You know immediate what? yes. Hard yes. You're right. We're not comedians. At least, <laughs> at least, at least you're not. At least I, I'll agree you're not now. That's a serious question. Is it a, is it a Christmas I, I know, holiday? We've, We're trying we've, to we've it asked out. every guest. Yes. Yeah. It's, What's the ratio so far? Mostly people are yeah. yes. We've gotten a few like kind of, we got, we. I'd say we get say probably. One no, right? I think we get a plurality hard yes. We get a a good amount of soft yeses. And then we have a few like, eh, maybe, or I don't really think of it that way. Well, here's what soft I'll say. Notes. Yeah. The term Christmas cookie is a thing. 100%. And I argument. know around Christmas, I often make cookies because they're a great little gift you can make people, but also you're at home. It's fun. It's a nice time. I feel like people give you cookies. Yeah. So I feel like I don't think of Christmas and cookies. I think of it as a part of like Christmas tree, Christmas right. cookies. There, it is a cookies out for is, Santa. Yes. A, there, uh, there, and that's where it all goes right there. So a, a part. It's one of the colors of the Christmas rainbow. Yeah. Fair. That's basically kind of in line with what a lot of people have thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we're saying no. Nick and I are not 100% sold, I guess. You We're just say. trying to cre- collect more data points. Yeah. Okay. So. But I, I do believe you you made the best argument for it with Santa. Why yeah, does Santa get- Santa likes cookies. Oh, I only Santa getting the cookies. Mm-hmm. 
We should spread that out. Why are we giving it like, we're giving him specifically, we're giving him cookies, nothing else. Like no, people don't leave him steak. People don't leave him eggs. You know, it's like, we're not giving him a protein, but yeah, you can be clever with it and be a weird family, but you're leaving cookies. Yeah. And and we make cookies with our kids and we leave them out there. If I ever have some fucking poor fucking kid, uh, some poor miserable child, I'm going to fucking- Like a, like a, like an orphan from the Victorian Uh, era? (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna leave out a steak, <laughs> and then also the yeah, he's gonna be hungry. I'm gonna eat the steak, <laughs> pretend Santa ate it. Um, I, I, I look. By the way, the best part of being a parent, getting eat those cookies after your kids go. Oh sleep. yeah, that's oh, fun. that God. is fun. Eat them like a real pig, a real sloppy mess. Ah, like you, you're making it like a Santa did it. Grabbed yeah, it. Right. It's like he's rough and tumble with those cookies. Yeah, they, they, you really they parents really do make Santa look like a fucking slobby bitch. Well, yeah. he had to dine and dash. Yeah, I, I get it. He's like, I'm getting this and going. And, but then it's nasty. The thing about Santa's just like, whoa, whoa, like t- tossing presents, just fucking yeah. cookie monstering <laughs> the cookies. It's funny because like all the, uh, like I, I'd heard that like from parents, like, hey, you, you just eat the cookies. And then in my house, like Santa would come and eat the cookies, yeah. which mm-hmm. was interesting. Like. Wait, Santa would come yeah, over? Yeah, Santa would actually like come down the chimney and eat the cookies. And then. <laughs> oh, <wow>. Wait, oh, <laughs> interesting. So like, yeah. he like, so he did it at he your. He did. It was like, it happened at my it house. It was real right growing house. up. Yeah. yeah. It was I, real at his place. I was I was so dumb as a kid that and I'm still dumb as an adult, but uh but my mom for Easter mm-hmm. would make bunny tracks out of um paper. Like so it was like paper bunnies feet that I could That's follow cute. around that. But a bunny wouldn't leave paper footprints. But it, like it is yeah. a cute idea and the, it's, a cute, it, idea. it's yeah. a cute idea, but it falls apart and any any logic Knocks it out, and then like one year, I think she used like um like a like a powder, like a talcum powder, or like you know, like baby powder. That's good. I, another thing that makes no, if you think doesn't of make it, sense, it make yeah. no sense. Like Santa, you rip a cookie in half, you eat a little, you know, it's like it seems like, the, but like he's not leaving like. It's not like uh, like the, this bunny has like eczema or something. It's leaving like pieces of its body, like debris. <laughs> but you know it what? Goes. It's almost believable that bunny leaves dust. Like the talcum yeah. powder is a little bit more. Yeah, what bunny that. do you know that's leaving dust around? We, that's, we've that's seen true. these bunnies. My, my my question. So as we know, Santa's not real, which is probably wait. Hold on. To lots of our lots of our baby brained <laughs> listeners, you got to put a spoiler warning before yeah. this episode starts. Please don't do that to the kids. To, 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 I'd, say, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, because you guys do, you guys, you guys like Fluffy, uh, Gabriel and Gilles, you do the afternoon show for the families. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Shows yeah. With the adults. Where it gets a little blue. <laughs> um, only happy meals and things. Have you guys done that? A happy meal, like a, like a, a battle of like kids meals. That's a great idea. I, that's like, that could be next year's tournament. That's a terrific that. idea. We've talked about doing it. I think that would be a great, yeah, that'd be yeah. fun. I saw Fluffy go into House of Nanking once. Also like mobbed by people. But we we did we we've, we've told this on the podcast before. We did a uh, we did a live show in Orange County mm-hmm. at the was it a, a, a Irvine oh, venue yeah. here. Oh, and yeah. the the what house was manager Ferris wheel or the, uh, the, yeah, the yeah yeah the house manager was was lovely <laughs> and and was very nice to us. And we were reviewing the hat, and he was like, "Which is a." Pas- it's just like funny a- thinking of us like talking about our podcast and going up. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can't really hear us for a couple minutes, and then we're back down. No one's missing out on anything. <laughs> The fair, is the Ferris wheel breaking? <laughs> um, so the so we're at this club, and the 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 guy who ran the house was uh, was talking to us about the hat, which was the restaurant we're reviewing, which is like a pastrami and chili dogs, like a like super right. duper heavy restaurant. And he's like, "Oh yeah, Fluffy was here. Gabriel Iglesias was here last week, and he got the hat as a pre show meal." And then he was like, "Also, he had a, a way bigger uh, audience than you guys. <laughs> like, they were like lined up to see. Oh, it. <laughs> man. Like, oh cool. <laughs> we get told that like a lot, where we're like, we don't really need to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you say like, I just charge. We we charge more. So I, yes, you know, yeah. It, it all worked out. <laughs> guys, I'm realizing that the last time I did the show was during another battle. It was a pizza battle. You were here for our finale yes. of, of The Slice is Right, which yes. was a few years, which was pre-quarantine. So Back it's been, lunch, it's been yeah. some Bunch time. Ma- yeah, too long. Yeah. Um, I actually thought that I alienated Weiger on that episode. Really? I, I did because I made, com- like, and this is hilarious. I'm still thinking about this. I made a comment. I was like, well, it's not, it's not like good New York pizza. And you're like, no, that, like, you were like, that is, but you can't, like you, I felt like I overstepped my lines of saying that it, wow. I can't compare it with regular pizza and you're like but that's not the thing it's about this pizza and i was like oh man i fucking he was probably I pissed. Ate it. i ate yeah. it with weiger I, I like i i made a mistake and I, i've <laughs> you know been thinking about it throughout all this the three years of quarantine it has been really uh on my head so wow. he, was, he was probably pissed he was 
<laughs> yeah, I was. I'm He's remembering right how now. I was pissed. But no, it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. yeah, but that was that was a very like I love these. I love these tournaments because yeah. it forces you. It forces you to make some very tough decisions, and wow. and and I feel like it might I, be one of those decisions. Yeah. I want to like understand how you look at this stuff because we'll be talking about this today. But this idea of is it the best bowl or the best bowl for the moment? Like how are like yeah. what like I want to just drill crush, down that... on like how we should be making this choice. Like because mm. they're they're great bowls, but like is every bowl equal? You know, if you put two Mexican bowls together, that's that I can see an equivalent. Sure. That's that's first of all, I would just will say he's mad at you again for your cookies answer, Christmas cookies answer. See, this is it. I've now <laughs> stepped in it again. It's we we collected we kind of have like um we kind of have like a vaccine approach to the cookies question. Uh huh. We're like, we have our answer. And then like a, we're, collecting, well, we're just asking questions. We're just asking, yeah, we're we, asking I questions. Mean, we know what we think. We're just asking questions. Here's what I'll say about the cookies. We're collecting data points, yeah. but like you know, but Natalie's not making cookies around Christmas time. No, we're not a big like baking household. Okay, I, I think that that the you know she's not super ne necessarily super. Uh, I don't want to say she's not super into sweets, but it's like I think that's not what we think of as a treat or an indulgence as much. You See, know? I'm a big. I love a cookie. Like, yeah, I'm a. I'm trying to always find a great cookie. I have my places that I feel very good about getting cookies. But I will say, as I've gotten older, and you guys are young, you know, you as young mm -hmm. guys, this is the you know millennial show. This is like you're often talking about like. What are the cast of Euphoria eating? You right. know, what's going on there? You yeah. Know, uh, K pop stuff. You know the yeah. answer to that. Yeah. Uh, cast of Euphoria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're but, um, yeah, fucking eating but ass. They're eating say, ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, that would be a great Munch Madness. Uh, so <laughs> oh, man. I've taken like 30 asses. <laughs> um, but I will say as Liger's I Liger's done in a day. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I've gotten older, I will say cookies have made a much larger play that makes in sense. the Christmas holidays. Yeah. So I will I will at least bow to that. Like I feel like as a as a single man, mm -hmm. I was not making cookies around yeah. the house. Pointed gesture to Mitch there. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh look, there's only one man in the house. And it's <laughs> I do put on well, the, your mom doesn't make cookies. My mom doesn't make my mom my mom will make she not she doesn't she's not doing it too often though. No. Yeah. Oh wow, okay, interesting. Um I I I don't I don't think I made cookies in in my new place. Once I haven't made I haven't made cookies yet, but I was gonna say, when you when you're prepping and making cookies for your kids, yeah, do you then have like two hours of like present wrapping to do right after that? Well, I'm not it? doing it in the same night. I mean, the present wrapping really get like that's bad, right? That's a lot. But I basically Christmas setup seems bad. At, the cookies seem fun, but then the rest of present setting up seems. Bad. I got my kid. Uh, a stand-up arcade machine this year. Wow, one of those arcade one up things. Wow. Uh, but I think a better version of it, it's called Arcade. Oh, like cool. The letter R. Yeah. And you can put a lot of games on because that stand-up, that one up, it's just one. Yes. I'm like standalone machine. And yeah. it's like scaled down. It's, it's like, scaled yeah. down. And I'm like, I didn't, and it looks like a little janky when I did my reviews on it. And I'm like, I didn't want to give my kid like my kids are this is a gift that June, my wife, was like, they're gonna love it. And I'm like, I don't think they are because they're playing PlayStation 5 and they're playing Nintendo Switch. Right. You're gonna be like, hey, do you like the the cuteness of burger time? Like, yeah. you know, they you know, and so a lot of adults will wind up playing it more than them. Yeah, but, it's like the, these games are like unplayable. It's like giving yeah. it's like giving us a cup and ball as a kid. It's just yes, like this feels yeah. like an old toy. I don't I don't I And like what they like the most. I feel like it. I could give you a cup and ball now and you'd be thrilled. I'd be into that. I'd be into that. You'd cup be and very ball. good at a cup yeah, and ball. Like I and be. I feel like but it would you wouldn't just come... seeing him getting it over and over and over again, like without <laughs> Yeah, like never <laughs> fucking never, robot. Like, yeah, was, <laughs> 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 but I do feel like the only game they really are impressed by is Space Ace. And, oh, uh, and sure, Dragon's yeah. Lair. yeah. So, but that's oh, game, this Lair. thing has a bunch mm -hmm. of different games on it. And that's the one that's most intriguing. But anyway, we got that and it came in multiple boxes. And I'm so thankful that I started putting it together piecemeal because it took forever. Like yeah. my biggest mistake the first couple of years is like, I'll do it on Christmas Eve night. Isn't that fun? No, that's a nightmare. You got to like build up to it and get them all done. It, it takes forever. Get done in there. He could build you a, a stand-up arcade cabinet too, old Dutton. Yeah, doesn't see, doesn't fucking see. rules. Yeah. See, I should have done that way. I'll tell you the other thing too about cookies, which I like. This it signifies that I'm done in December. Like mm. I'm like, I'm taking time off from work. I'm not going to worry about things. And then it gives me a, a nice sense of satisfaction, the same way like a Lego does, where I'm like, I have the ingredients. 
I'm going to make my thing. It's going to be done this time. And I'm done. I made these cookies. I made a marshmallow explosion cookie this year. It was amazing. Whoa, That's, wait, marshmallow explosion cookie? Yeah. You got it. So you basically, you, you, you make a cookie and then you kind of get these little small mar- gluten-free marshmallows inside. And then they kind of explode. And so the cookie is, you can break it open and it's like a, it's like a, a marshmallow wow. filled cookie. Oh, that's so Amazing. fun. Wags really. got very excited over that. Yeah, that was a very, like, I'm not making, I'm not making simple stuff. I'm yeah. trying to up the ante here. That's you know, I'm like trying to bring it out. I love that. Yeah. Do you know who the ultimate man of the house is? Hugh Laurie. <laughs> Well, who will advance in Much Madness 2023, the Tournament of Champions Bowl? We'll find out right after this break. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Spoon Man, and today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. You know what? I just recently found out about myself. I found out that when I get a nice little walk-in, it's good for my mental health. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because you're always growing and changing. Hey. I'm 40 years old. I feel like I'm just getting to learn a lot about myself, Wags. And you know what? It's a lifelong process. I shouldn't be that upset about it. It's true. And therapy is a process of self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. Hey. Mm-hmm. Mitch, you know, I've been doing therapy. I've benefited from it tremendously. That's right. Well, so have I in the past. Every time I'm in therapy, I'm a better person. That is the truth. It's great to talk to somebody mm-hmm. and just sort of open up with them, especially mm-hmm. if you're someone like me who's a little bit of a closed book, uh, helpful for learning positive coping skills, how to set boundaries. And it isn't just for those who have experienced major trauma. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Doughboys today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Doughboys. Do it. Oh, Mitchie boy, you know, it's time to power up for springtime with Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Get nutritious, chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That's, my, that's me powering up, Wags. Look at you. Yeah, look and feel your best in time for warmer weather with calorie-smart meals. Around 550 calories or less, Wags. Dinner's taken care of. Too busy to cook? Well, with Factor, skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Factor has delicious, flavor-packed meals to help Mm -hmm. you live life to the fullest. Choose from keto, vegan and veggie, calorie smart, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Mitch, I want protein plus. Don't regret it. But you know what? Vegan and veggie is a great option for me as well. Wags. Try to minimize my meat consumption. I want calorie smart. Wow. That's right. Yeah. That's using that big brain on your shoulders. Uh, prepared mm-hmm. for by chefs and approved by dietitians, each meal has all of the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long. With 34 chef-prepared, dietitian-approved weekly options, there's always something new to try. Enjoy meals for any time of day with breakfast options like egg bites, smoothies, and more. Plus, replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45-plus add-ons. Want to cut back on takeout? Hey, that's something we could do, Wags. 100%. Get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. Put the time and money you save towards planning activities for when the weather heats up. And hey, eating vegan or veggie is a snap with Factor. Because each meal is prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. you know that your Factor meal has all of the ingredients you want and nothing you don't. And if you're looking to mix it up, you can add a protein to select vegan plus veggie meals each week. Get Factor and enjoy eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready in just two minutes. No prep. No mess. Head to factormeals.com slash doughboys50 and use code doughboys50 to get 50% off your first box, Wags. 50%. That's code Doughboys50 at Factormeals.com slash Doughboys50 to get 50% off your first box. Wow. Welcome back to Doughboys. We're here with Paul Shear discussing Munch Madness 2023, the Tournament Champions Bowl. And Mitch, this is the semi-soft finals Chipotle Mm -hmm. versus Prest. Chipotle defeated Yoshinoi in the Rumbleys region, and Prest beat Jamba in the Acai region. It's funny because I've been like 
getting sick of bowls, but then also other days I'm okay with it. I'm fine with bowls. You know what? I fucking sweet green, which got eliminated. I had as a pre-record meal today. You and I, I've told you about sweet green in this, in this, in me eating healthy journey. Yeah. It's been huge. Yeah. You've lost 17 and then uh, gained back 12 and then lost five. Yeah. You really have the... So you can really play the big Well, part I'm just that, saying right? total. Like they would want to be on the commercial. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that total now I've only lost five. I think a lot of it is water weight. I'm drying out a little Wait bit. Wait a second. After... You just attacked Nick for saying it was water weight a second ago. It, it He's right. It, I'm okay. saying I, I was mad at Nick because Nick was like, you didn't really lose 17 pounds. No, I'm saying if you think I maybe it helps you psychologically to think that. But yeah. I think I think it also could it be does. fucking you up psychologically because you think like I lost all this weight and I've gained right. all this back. But I think instead of you're like, OK, maybe that was a little bit lighter than I actually am. And maybe this is a little bit heavier than I actually. But, am, but you know? let, let's be honest here, too. The reason why you gained it back is because you just had a week long bacchanal with the like with the people from Massachusetts. Yeah. Like I mean, you're you, you, were, you have Wu Tang in here? Were you like were you drinking water? No. 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 Yeah. You went to Musso and Frank's. Is that healthy? No. No. Yeah. no it was Frolic fucking. Room. What are you doing? Diet we, Cokes. We drank. We, we we we. I'm drying out right now. We yeah. drank a lot. Yeah. We it, it was it was a mess. You and Shankton and Micah said Fuxton. You guys were going crazy. We were going crazy. Guys, we, I gotta tell you what I've been drinking because I want that flavor of beer, but sometimes I don't want those calories yeah. of beer. A Heineken Zero. Love the wow. Heineken Zero. I had two of them last night. They're it's great. so great. I love it. It's and like, I, that's what I want. That's exactly what I need from it. 100%. I never thought I'd get to a point where I'm like just drinking a non-alcoholic beer for pleasure. But like I do that now. It's like, oh yeah, that's what I, I, this because actually does has the same effect on me. I drink primarily, I drink water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I do want that little, little thing, but it's like, it gives me, because I'm not, I've never had home going like, oh, that one beer got me good. Like, oh, yeah. I'm ready. Like, I'm done now. Like it doesn't, beer doesn't even affect me like that unless I'm really going to town on beers. So it's like, why not just give me the flavor and I don't need any of the other parts of it. We were, we were, we were discussing how, like if you added all of our food and booze into the back of an F1 Ford F-150, like how much of the, of the back of the truck it would take up. That's what we were talking about. You and the, the, the Quincy boys? Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the food and booze and drugs. If you put it all into the wow. back of a F-150, okay. how much it would take up. And we were like, it would be noticeable. Like it would be like a lot sloshing a lot. I mean, to fill it up is insane. If you took the contents of a fridge and just emptied it, like a full fridge and emptied it into the back of an F one fifty, I think it would still fill about like you know what a, a third of the bed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. that. So that like I think probably amongst the five of you, four of you, four of us, yeah. four of you, yeah, you you definitely had a substantial. Well, amount at, of at the end, of, like you know, at the end of your trip, they cut your belly open like in Jaws. Just let it like <laughs> fill up the trunk. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> You know, beer cans flying out of there. And you song <laughs> falls out. We uh, we also I drove them. We I did the thing like the Oscars, like the day of the Oscars. I like was like, let's see if we can like. You can't even get close anymore. You can't even. You can't even go to like uh, like Hollywood and Thailand. Yeah. And I drove, and then we were just stuck in traffic and like circled the Oof. big block. It was fucking. It was it was rough. You get pretty close, Mitch. There you go. Yeah, there it is. Wow. <laughs> Which is the now winner, handle, the winner of the best uh, drive by. <laughs> <laughs> Which is holding uh, the uh, the Vanity Fair. I do Oscar hope. Award. I hope it's filled with those Olympic. Um, I, I'll tell you this much. I will say that uh, I was happy that uh, Yoshinoya was knocked out. We did a yes. famously an episode on the league. Or famously, I don't know if it's famous. We did an episode on the league about Yoshinoya. Uh, and we called it Yobagoya. Oh, yeah. The whole thing was that everyone was like shitting their pants after they would have. And I and and so that has really pushed me off of Yoshinoya. I mean, did, I wanted to ask you guys, did that have an effect on you? Did you have any, not the episode, but did you have any of those like a side effect. It, it's it's a it was a rough meal. I think my uh, my issue with Yoshinoya because I'm not eating meat this month as part of this tournament, and so well, you're eating just, outside of the tournament. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, like, yeah. but I, but I but I'm whatever. I don't eat a lot of meat in general. But sure, but I'm a non meat eater. Yeah, pretty much. So I uh, I will have no meat today. No hey, meat shall you. I eat today. Good good wow. good for you. Meatless Mondays, but you're doing it on a different day. I do it on a Tuesday. There yeah. you go. <laughs> the, you know, I might try to sneak a piece of meat in or two at some point. <laughs> I didn't have bad rumblies from my Yoshinoya, but I did. Mm -hmm. I did, it did just like taste like nothing. It was just yeah. really an unpleasant meal. I my stomach has been hurting a lot, but we we were talking about this whether it's like using hot sauce because I'm I'm trying to eat better, or if it's a lot of salads and my yeah. body's just not used to it. And then ironically, when I like started to eat like shit this the last four days, I felt much better. Wow, <laughs> which but, is insane. My stomach felt better. My mom is like that. My mom like. 
if she has anything like that has a semblance of being healthy, gets disastrously sick. Mm. Yeah. But like diet cokes and other things, like fine as the day is long. But, like we had her like do a smoothie and she's like, oh, I was in the bathroom for three days. I'm like, you, that something is desperately wrong yeah. with you. Like, yeah. <laughs> but you should not. But yeah, like it's an interesting that your body can like work up a tolerance. My mom's a very small woman, uh, like as you know, as far as size. Uh, but yeah, her body like processes sugar and shit better than anything else. That, that that's like I, I like have my hands have like broken out in hives after after eating like after I was eating. It's very strange. I'm figuring it out. I'm probably allergic to something. Is the real is the real deal? Is yeah, that's not a normal reaction. If you're getting hives, yeah, all I got some hives on me. Big baseball mitts you get. Yeah, you gotta get 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 that checked out. Have you done an allergen test? Man, imagine I did before and I and I, I it didn't come back. I was allergic to mold and dust. That's they always say. That's yeah, a, yeah that's mold, true. dust, and cockroaches. That's these are the same. These three are of the, my, of course, three of my favorite snacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like, oh, all three of those things are gross. Yeah. So you know, the last since, and I will get into the bowl. I'm sorry. I, I no, this is great. Br briefly detour and say that since I last left you guys mm -hmm. during the pandemic, uh, I was called upon by uh, a friend of the show, uh, Payman Benz. Oh yeah. Uh, the great director, a great sweet guy. Also a huge Clippers fan. A huge Clippers. Who also, fan. by the way, we got a, a we, we one of our first visits to one of the competitors in this competition. Took us to Sweet Fin. We took us to Sweet, sweet fin. fin with Payman. Yeah. So Payman uh, and I worked on the Serge Abaca cooking show. Oh right, yes. Wow. And he made everyone drink cricket tea, and he also other disgusting things. But it was very interesting to see. Uh, People's reaction to like it was the first time. I don't know. Like I, I, I feel like I didn't ever got to see people just be continually grossed out. Like he made Steve Ballmer eat a brain, like a, a calf brain on like um, a hamburger bun, mm -hmm. and he almost puked. Uh, but this cockroach tea was cockroach tea. Oh, uh, sorry, Cricket sorry, date. grasshopper, grasshopper tea. Sorry, and grasshopper tea, and he now is making grasshopper bars. That's his new huh. thing. He's like, that. that's our new protein. So he's making grasshopper bars. Would you guys have grasshopper bars? Yeah, I mean, I've had chapulinas, which I think are crickets. I can't remember if those are crickets or, yeah. or, or grasshoppers, but I've had those as a snack and it's just like, eh, it's a good crunchy protein yeah. texture. I mean, like, I think like the... The crunchier bugs, the ones with more of an exoskeleton, I can do a little bit more. So we're talking like worms. Things are a little Ooh, chewier. Yeah. That, that's a little, that's maybe a bridge too far for yeah, me. Yeah. I'd rather do a worm than a cockroach. If they were alive. Yeah, but he's talking, we're talking about a, a grasshopper yeah. bar. Okay. It's going to be pushed together, you know. I mean, cockroaches are the grossest to me, but I could, I think I could do it. I could, I could eat a grasshopper bar. Yeah. What, what is the grasshopper tea? You put it. It, this is the interesting thing about that Serge Ibaka show. It seemed like he just made gross things. It was like, I think it originally <laughs> started as like, this is from my culture. Yeah, sure. Enjoy the delicacies that I had. And then it just quickly became like, like a, a game on factor. like, yeah, yeah. A fear factor. Yeah. Where it was just like, he didn't even want to eat it. And then like Clay Thompson was like, you got to eat this. And he was like, I'm not going to eat this. <laughs> like, you know, everyone was just arguing about what yeah. they're going to eat or not. Um, but that that's just, funny because like a big wet brain on a, bun is fucking disgusting it was one of the most it like there were smells that i smelt and you know people are on camera so they feel like they gotta eat it and they're trying to do their best job at it hot sauce on it and everything like that i had an appreciation for it but that that um the one thing that i thought was the coolest thing was a live squid he's still moving and mm. you gotta squirt soy sauce on him and just kind of eat the eat that's that. wild and that felt uh too gooey even as somebody who likes sushi and uni and everything yeah. like that, that felt a little too slimy a little too mucusy but the movement, any movement in my mouth is that would that's the hard part. That's tough. Yeah. 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 I think it would be hard. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever eaten anybody whole? Uh like a whole like like a person? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I've not eaten a human being whole. <laughs> When you're avataring into Dahmer, <laughs> I, I do feel str I will say I do feel strange eating entire life forms. Like even okay. sh even shrimps, I'm kind of like, wow, this is like I'm eating a soul. This is like this was Ooh. an entire living thing. Versus like wings, it's like I, I don't know. I, I, I wings are like steak, where it's like a portion of an animal. When I'm eating an entire animal, I just I don't like the head weirdly. presented yeah. with the fish. When you go to a nice restaurant, yeah. like, mm. why do I need to see that head? Sure, I understand it's a fish. I don't need to see that. Like I don't understand that presentation of it. I once for a birthday party got a pig, uh, like where a friend of ours had a restaurant. They served like a pig's head, and I didn't I didn't like that at all. Yeah, I didn't I like, like I didn't that. like the idea of like again the same thing. It's like oh, eat the brain, eat the cheeks, eat the eye. I'm, 
Mm-hmm. No, thank you. I, I can't do it. Um, Natalie do loves it. a whole fish. She'll eat a whole, so like, she, like head and everything. Like, so she's does she that. get some out of the head? Like, what no, she... I think, I mean, I think there is like good meat to be had there, but I think okay. she also just like is at peace with the idea of like, oh, this was, you know, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to speak for her. No, but, but that's like yeah. a communal idea. It's like, yeah. I went there. I got. I'm. I'm. I'm eating what I caught, even though I didn't right. catch it. But it's like I see the whole. I yeah. like that idea. She's at peace with a lot of things. <laughs> uh, Can we go back to Serge Ibaka for a second? Yes, please. Because I have a. I have a, a an NBA group chat that is very active. Uh, the basket chat, a high intensity basketball group chat, and we do our all hunk rating uh, rankings each year. And Serge Ibaka, perennial, like, all NBA first oh, team, yeah. all hunk. Is he just, like, like what is it like? I, I imagine he'd just be so striking in person. Uh, Serge is a very attractive man. Wow. Like, a very attractive guy. He's got a, a wonderful accent. You know? Yeah, and, right. Um, and I think that, just you know, he... He lo- <laughs> I'm thinking about Wag's quarterly hunk rankings, and everyone's like, "Okay, here we go." <laughs> but by the way, it's so funny. I, I, I'm in a very, I'm in a very active basketball chat as well, and mm-hmm. I have a, sm- a slight side chat with like a handful of people that we like the big basketball stories. I'll kind of peek in, but I had this conversation. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting their names. These two girls who do a basketball uh, podcast. Dunktown? Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. And we had it. We talked about the hunkiest ones. And there's. And I feel like there's a difference. I think girls see a difference. Uh, like they like the Devin. I feel like I talked to a lot of women. They like Devin Booker. I think the Serge Ibaka is more of a classic, almost like a, like a, like a, like a statue. Like he's got, like he carries himself. He has, like, mm. he, you know, he says that his dress, he dresses as art. He's like, I am art. Interesting. I, I do art. So his scarves, everything like that. I, have a, I just have a question because I think yeah. there's some bias in this. Do Jalen or Jason, dude, sorry. Jalen Brown, Jason Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum make your. They were both in the mix, but they did not make the the final team. Come on. See, I, 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 like... I, I, think, I think Jason Tatum is very handsome. I think Jalen Brown is handsome. Jalen Brown's think... handsome yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. I think Jalen Brown is probably hunkier than Jason Tatum, but they're both good looking men. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. This is a question we asked. Nice. We asked. We asked this question. We said, because uh, we got to write the questions. Joe Mandy, another uh, great guy. Joe, Joe Mandy, we wrote this question. Would you rather lose your looks or your basketball skills? Wow. And so, That's a great question. And so, Serge. For me, that is a hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Serge had to, like, he asked that question to, uh, uh, to DeMar DeRozan. Uh, so, it was the both of them. Very answer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and they both, without hesitation, looks. Wouldn't wow. didn't even neither of them considered it. Yeah. But I will tell you that the most that that Serge Ibaka lit up the entire time, and he had great, we had great conversations. We had all these great players on the show. The only time I saw him light up was when he was talking to a TikTok kid mm-hmm. who was a very young, attractive TikTok guy, and all I wanted to do was find out like what it was like at the club. And the girls that he was talking to, it seemed like his real interest was in that lifestyle. <laughs> like we would ask, we'd ask him to do my favorite, my favorite thing. And I, maybe I'm talking out of school, but I'll say it anyway. He, you know, we write these questions down and, uh, and Serge, you know, has Steve Bomber there, Steve Bomber, the owner of the Clippers, uh, famously, you know, one of the first people hired at Microsoft. And he goes, Steve, what is the Microsoft? <laughs> and that was my favorite and steve i was like what and he's like microsoft what is microsoft <laughs> and then we were like oh okay it's microsoft he's like okay microsoft <laughs> but it was like it was to me that spoke so many like, i was like to never even know of yeah. Microsoft. and he's a very smart guy but it was so funny to sit there with this guy who is Hugely, you know, like again, Microsoft seems to me as synonymous as anything. You know, it's like it's like Coca Cola. It's, like, yeah, it's ubiquitous. It's yeah. everywhere. Yeah, I know Microsoft. I know Microsoft. I know Microsoft. Okay, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there is also a, a funny layer of also like, okay, if this guy buys, like that layer of not giving a fuck, I right. kind of like is like this guy buy, like owns the team that I play for. Yes. Uh, and I just like, I don't even know what his company is. Like that. And, and that's what I think was so yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's like, it's I'm ha- he's on my show. Yeah. The only reason I'm having him on my show is because he's my boss, but I don't really care to know how he could afford <laughs> to buy my team in cash. Like yeah. what he did before. Like even like, look, and it would be different if it's like, oh, like there's a lot of people who buy these teams. They're like, oh, well, they're a multimillionaire, but you may not know why. But like, 
Microsoft is like a very like, it's a yes. clean. It's like yeah, that's how he got his money. He did that. That rolls. And, yeah, and their Xbox too, right? Isn't the Microsoft yeah. Xbox? Yeah. Come and on. and Serge was like incredibly like he had a whole. He was really great at like I watched him talk basketball with Paul George off camera. And it was like watching two people speak a language I did not understand the way they were talking about a play that just had happened earlier. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow. Like it, that to me was the most shocking thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It was like, these are two people that understand the game on a level that I will never understand. And like talking about, I felt like I was listening to them talk about math and numbers and who moved here and what happened there and how to defend that person and all that sort of stuff. Well, it's I like, if, like Wags and I talking about like fast food and like Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the Herald. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys get into pattern game openings, <laughs> oh man, you talk about mono scenes. I just sit back and listen. I don't know what's going on, but I'm impressed. Um, that's a that's amazing context about uh, Serge Ibaka. And by the way, shout out to uh, uh, Gata and Anastasia who uh, oh, yeah. uh, from Dunktown who... Mitch, we have a side chat with that used to be Dotown, where we just like talk generally, and gradually evolved into exclusively yogurt talk. It is, and yogurt. we will just exchange photos of our yogurts and be like, "This is what I'm eating. This is like you know blackberries and some uh, some sliced almonds." And, and you yogurt. know who was the worst member of that group for a very long time? Me. And you, then you you got so you stepped I've up your yogurt game. Stepped up. I stepped it up since I since I've been trying to be good. I've been I've been sharing some yogurt picks. And oh, hey, one person. of today's chains, Gert adjacent, which we'll it get into Gert right adjacent. now. But you know, it's the Tournament of Champions, which means there are extensive guidelines decreed by Commissioner Susser. Oh shit, I'm gonna fucking fall asleep. Emma, play the theme. It's time for Chew Rules. Start the clock. Good afternoon. And so there'll be like the real time uh, with Bill Maher theme plans, just for so you guys know what's going on. <laughs> you should, you okay. should l literally save energy now. Like, just take your time. There's gonna, there'll be a couple moments during this tournament. I'll tell you the next one too, but right now, just relax. <laughs> Today's woke food culture means if you ask for meat in your bowl, you're getting canceled on your timeline. Well, I say we need to say bye-bye to Karl Marx and bring back Carl's Jr. And if you want to know who agrees with me, take a look at Mount Rushmore. Okay, here are the chew rules. Chew rule. Salad ain't valid. Bowl is the goal. No salads. Rule number two. Chili is silly. Chili's not considered. Rule number three, stew won't do. Bowl viscosity must be above stew level at a minimum. We want goop, not soup. Rule number four, when it comes to strikes, we're at the bowling alley, not the batter's box. That's right. Strikes aren't bad. They're good. Three strikes, you're in. Rule number five, this is the Mitch addendum. Two strikes, you're also in. That's called a 7-10 split decision. Rule number six, drinks are in the gutter. Sides are also in the gutter. Rule number seven, however, drinks are in the nutter. Sides are also in the nutter. You can consider both. Rule number eight, cookies are ooky, but are they also Christmassy? Cookies may not be considered, but every guest must be asked the question, is Christmas a cookie holiday? We already got Paul on the record there. Rule number nine, when it comes to bread, there's more that will be said, which is rule number 10, chips are also bread. So let's start with Chipotle, since chips are also bread. Can, I, can, I add, can we yeah. add a rule here? Yeah, sure. Stew won't do, but can we add... Grew will do. Discussion of grew, grew in the minions is allowed. Yeah, sure, is but it, do we want baby grew or adult grew? Can you can we, or does it make a difference? Because I feel like that's a great this, question. You know, when we're talking about like the 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 younger grew, it's yeah. a very different personality. That's the delineation that's of the timelines: the minions timeline versus yeah. the Despicable Me timeline. That's a, a question. I I I I'm on the spot here. I don't know the answer to. It's a great question. Well, it's. I think that's part of the discussion. Yeah, you have so yeah, grew have will do. So grew you can discuss do. any grew. So do you, are you saying you want me to add that at the end, or do you want me to add that to the stew won't do? Like stew right won't that? do, but then after that, but grew will do. Okay, so discussion new, new of grew at any age is allowed. Okay, great. Wow. But we don't have to make. A, we don't have to do. make. A, we don't have to talk about discussion of grew at any age is allowed. But if it comes up organically, got it. You know, but I'll, don't I'll, force it. I'll yeah. start it. Grew is pretty funny. I think Grew's funny. Here's my take on it: is like I'm more a Minions fan, but Grew is cool too. Um, here's what I think: I like the youthful en enthusiasm of the young Grew that wants to be the villain. Yeah. I find myself yeah. to be connected to that character. It's refreshing. I don't know if I find the older Grew as appealing. I feel like the the older Grew is kind of to me. <sighs> We meet him, he's a villain, he gets soft and he continues to be soft. Bring me back to young Gru. I want prequel Gru. That, yeah, so Minions Gru is where I stand. Yeah. So Gru, it's a great baby Gru will do. Adult Gru, no thank you. Gru. Oh, Gru, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> but Gro Gru, 
I'm a fan of. I love Grogu. Grogu is great. Grogu versus Grogu. Grogu, <laughs> Grogu versus I mean, Gru. That's a million dollar idea, by the way. Yeah. To yeah. Put, to have a Gro Grogu, but it's Gru. Like it looks like Gru, but he's like a Yoda. And yeah, it, that's and cute. And, it, and it's and it's uh, and it's Groot. Deciding between Grogu <laughs> and Gru. Yeah. And like, you know, he's really. All right, this is great. What a fucking. So we did, we did rule 10. Our yeah. culture is just a bowl now. It's just a fucking <laughs> bunch of mush. He is a stand up. <laughs> uh, Chipotle, I-, I got a veggie. Weiger, Weiger today, just today, Weiger was talking about. I remember earlier today, you said we'll talk about it on the podcast, how we're getting cranky and. Uh... We're, 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 Wait, what? Uh, in me. our text message thread, you said we'll talk about this on the podcast as a joke. Oh yeah, but we were saying uh, we're 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 ready to we're 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 ready to say uh, we're ready to go right and say we're done with <laughs> outrage culture. <laughs> Stop crying, oh, everyone! Like, Stop! Just shut the fuck up. It's not it's not anything actually political. We just want our Patreon numbers to go up. So. <laughs> Uh, I got a veggie bowl. I'm not eating meat. I got guacamole on the side, which I like to do with a veggie bowl because you get guacamole included. But if you get it on, especially if you're getting to go, and I was picking mine up, that guacamole, you know, will turn brown on top of the hot ingredients in transit. So I'll get it on the side and then and then top it or use it as a dip for my chips, which is what I did this time. I get chips and tomatillo red Let me tell you. Salsa. Yeah. All those ingredients turn brown at one point or another. <laughs> for me, it was a part of. Oh, boy. It was. It was. It's all it, going in the back of the F Ford F one fifty. I'll run down my ingredients. I, I got the tomatillo, green chili salsa, fajita veggies, queso blanco, cheese, black beans, and white rice. So that was my veggie bowl. And so the fajita veggies were basically the protein, but I mean, like the beans were doing a lot of work on the protein side as well. Mitch, yours gave you the rumblies. It sounds like. This, what, did, what did you do? Wags. Not only did it give me the rumblies, but this is the infamous Jack Walk. Walk with Jack. Oh, right. We had this or conversation with previously. Walk. Yes, yeah. Um, where I we talked about this with Arden Marine. We did, and and, and you almost this, shit your pants on a walk with Jack I almost, Allison. I almost shit my pants with a walk on a walk with Jack Allison. I had to call Evan Susser, ask him for the code to his office, mm-hmm. and run into his office and use the restrooms, and they demolished that building. Um, <laughs> I one of the best things I ever did was uh, find access to a bathroom on a lower floor. In a building I was working in, so I could shit recklessly without any fear of a coworker ever <laughs> Smart. seeing it. That yeah. is because huge. I was not, you know, not a member of the other side of the building. Yeah. So it was a great. That was a great. Everyone needs. Almost we should, almost forcibly make everybody shit on different floors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Wags, I, I want, I want a different route. And I, by the way, I love that. I think that there's so much. Shame around going to the bathroom. It's an awful thing. Even as an adult, I still feel shame. Like like using yes, the bathroom. One hundred percent sucks. Uh, and the, like uh, whatever. I, 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 if we're gonna talk about, it, let me just bring up one other thing. And this is something that maybe some people can relate to. Maybe some people can. The idea of like having a master bath, right? Like you have a bathroom attached to your bedroom. In actuality, fuck that. Yeah. Like it's like you're gonna get that close to the smell. I put a shower. I, I, I like. I don't need to have a toilet right by my bed. I love this. I love. I. I love right? this thought. I, like. Like. What are we doing? Like. That's what we. Like. We envision. Like. That's what class is. Is like. Yes. Oh, I can shit right next to my bed. It's like. Yeah, but. Do you want to? Do you want? No, no. you don't want to do that. No, the, the, the hall baths. That, that's where it's at. That's yeah. yeah. Like I mean, a shower in there is great. Okay, got yeah, a shower. Yeah. I could go get dressed, but I don't need to be. I don't need to be like throwing down in there. No, absolutely. Yeah. Thinking not. that up. No. Basement bathrooms. Yes. That's what they all should be. Basement bathrooms. Pot outside. That's man. You know what? The outside bathroom is not that bad. It I love was, an outdoor shower. I would like an outdoor shitter. The the I think it's a great idea. When the toilet was introduced, it was a huge marketing thing to figure out how to convince people to put a uh, like what they perceived as an outhouse inside their home. Yeah, because they're like, that's where I eat and sleep, then and, yeah. and play with my my kids. Why would I want to have a, a toilet? In people there? were right. Yeah, they be. I, I would, and I, I will say, you know, I I live in a we live in an apartment, but when I think about like the idea of having a yard, the idea of having a composting toilet. Which is like just like kind of like basically a modern outdoor outhouse. Yeah. It's like very appealing to me. Like, oh, I could just go outside and like take a fucking big dump back there and feel like I'm doing something good for the environment. I love that. Man, mine would look like fucking rainforest in Brazil. <laughs> uh... <laughs> or I guess maybe nothing would grow there too, is another issue. Wags. Yeah. That's your Academy Award movie. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> I went with an, I, I went a, a, a route I've never gone at 
Chipotle. I did a couple of different things here. Well, man, can I ask you a question? Because mm -hmm. I feel like you understand the Chipotle bowl. Are you going bowl at Chipotle? Like, I just want to know that. Like, in the general world, I feel like yes. Weiger. Okay, you are. Um, I, yeah. I, I, because I, 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 I felt a lot of different ways about Chipotle over the years. Year, year, I've talked about it. I, like, it was hyped up. I tried it. I was like, that was okay. And then I went to, like, oh, it's overrated. And then, like, I don't like it. And then come around to be like, you know what? When you get a Chipotle chicken burrito with white rice and sour cream, it can just be, like, a nice fucking – delicious, big, fat bowl of goop, uh, yeah. sorry, tube of goop. And I, and I grew, grew to like it. And then when the bowls came around, I was like, oh, this is like nearly healthy as far as like getting, you know, delivery or dinner from there. And like, if you do brown rice and you do chicken and you stay, you know, you, if you stay light on cheese or sour cream, you're doing okay. But those are also my two favorite things yeah, of course. at Chipotle. But I so so a, a a Chipotle bowl is something that I will go to every so often. Yeah, doing this and also counting cal calories, I've realized that like it is heavier than I ever thought it was, but still not bad to treat yourself a little bit. So I I would do bowls a lot in the past. The issue was I was also doing chips and sure and and uh, queso with it. But I always just get chicken bowls. I'll just okay. always do a chicken bowl. So today I did half and half. I did half barbacoa. Half chicken with brown rice, uh, pinto beans, cheese, fresh tomato salsa, sour cream, tomatillo green chili salsa, and then the thing that kind of caused the issues, Wags, tomatillo red chili salsa. Let, let me okay. let me ask you this because I consciously did this and I'm not sure I don't I don't remember your previous bowl so I'm not sure if you did the same but like I tried to basically flip every ingredient that I got in my on our pre on my previous Ooh, bowl. No, I did not try to do okay, that. Okay, got I, it. I I, uh, I usually go black beans, so I, I've been doing pinto beans, and I also saw the calories are the same. I think black beans are better for you than pinto beans, just nutritionally. Sure, but um, a little more fiber. Um, I I did the half and half. I, I usually get chicken. I wanted to have. Chicken in there, but then the bar barbaco is one of the lower calorie options, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'll do. It. And then also, I feel like barbaco is pretty famous there, and it was the barbaco was good. I enjoyed it. I liked it. it Flavorful. It was yeah. It would, I didn't have a ton of meat on my bowl. It was kind of a, a, a protein light, mm. but uh, but that was good. And the and the red salsa is much spicier than I thought it would be. It's a it's a spicy salsa, and it caused some. Gastrointestinal distress, yeah. as you would say. I, I've I fancy myself as somebody who heat seeker, and Nellie is like a several tiers above me in terms of like how much heat tolerance she has. But when we got our Chipotle for this offer for this outing, she got the red uh, the red uh, chili salsa, and she was like, "Ooh, this is pretty spicy." Like she was noticing it's, it's, it's decently potent. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I I I took the guys to J the Quincy the Quincy boys to Jitlada. Uh huh. And oh, I, yeah. Now that's a whole other thing. And yes, Wu Wu was Wu was sweating as Wu was sweating like crazy. Yeah, and I was doing the spicy four cups and it didn't bother me. I mean, like I told you this beforehand. Like I think the part of the reason why my stomach hurts so much is I'm using a lot of hot sauce. But even with all this hot sauce and my stomach have been hurting lately with salads, this this Chipotle hot sauce put me over the top for wow. whatever reason. I usually get rumblies from Chipotle. People make jokes about Taco Bell, but Chipotle is the one that gets me. Sure. And so I, but I'll say this. The tastes were good. I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed my bowl. Wow, I really liked it. Uh, Sheer, let's talk about your Chipotle experience. Okay, let me just say that I'm so excited to get this assignment because this is one of my go-to places. This is one of my go-to bowls. Wow, I am not a meat eater. Often, I will. I'll have fish, sometimes chicken. Mm -hmm. So, I went straight down the line with what I normally get. I'm going to read it to you right now. Okay, I get a sofritas. Bowl. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the veggie option. Mm -hmm. Do it with brown rice, mm -hmm. black beans, uh, veggie fajitas, uh, fresh tomato salsa, corn chili salsa, tomatillo green chili salsa. Three salsas. Tomatillo red chili all salsa. All the salsas. Sour cream, cheese, and guac. Wow. wow. Now. It's like the Olympic rings of salsas. You're I get them all, all in there. Get all the salsas. And when they all come together... You kind of eliminate some of that hotness of the of the red, but you get that flavor of the red. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of really, it's a perfect mix. Mm -hmm. Now I will say that I like to be there. I ordered this one over DoorDash, so it's a little 
It's a little I, loud. I, yeah, I like to. I like to. I like to monitor how my bowl is. Like when I go, and I know salad's not allowed when I get into salad, but when I go to salad, I go like less on that lettuce. Let's like, get that base out of there. Yeah, let's, let's go sure. one fourth mm-hmm. on the base. So for here, I go light on the sour cream and light on the cheese. I just need a little bit. Just give yeah. me a little bit in there. And then I know we have to pick a side. I, I And of course, I think that really the only side worth mentioning there is is the chips, yeah. which I think are, are great. And I use the chips as my delivery system for that bowl. Smart, smart move. Yeah. And uh, perfect bowl every time. Perfect bowl. I, I will say that sofritas I've had better and worse. I'm a, I'm not 100% for sofritas, but if I don't do sofritas, I'll just do the veggies and that's like, I'll go there. I feel like they need a better veggie protein option. I 100% either, agree. It's either sofritas or or guacamole, basically, they're yeah. offering. And I just like, uh, give me some, I don't know, give it some ground Beyond Meat or something. We, yeah, we're at, the, we're at the point where I think Beyond Meat can get into the mix very yeah. easily. And I think, I think be really good. You could actually probably even do chicken strips, Beyond Meat chicken strips. I feel like we've gotten to that point. I've gone to Fat Burger and I've gotten their chicken nuggets, or the Beyond Chicken, great. Yeah. Amazing, solid. So in that world, this is like, I you know, look, I'll base on Splash Mountain. The you know Brer Rabbit says, "Don't throw me down that briar patch." Like mm-hmm. I was excited. I was like, "This is it. I, this is yeah. my this is my go." to That's what he used spot. to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get it back. <laughs> I will say that the name, the new name, is bad. Didn't they Wait, reveal the name? No, and it was isn't bad? it the Princess and the Frog? Right? Yeah, but the name of it is bad. It's like Bayou Adventure. I'm like. All right. It's gonna be splash. You want it to be. You want to have splash in there. It's gonna be splash. It's gonna be like the like the big Bayou Splashdown or something. Bayou Splashdown might have been better than J- I like Adventure that. Bayou like Splashdown. Yeah, Come sure. on, yeah. the imagine Bayou a Blowout. Fucking... I think we need there a BB, go. like a B. You know, Bayou like a... Blower is yeah, great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So the perfect bowl sounds like Big Earl over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't think of a real bowler's name, so I. Said Bill Murray's name from Pig Kingpin. <laughs> That's okay. Which I didn't even get. So. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but I liked you explaining it. Um, my bowl was. I think that when Chipotle moved to bowls, Chipotle is a weird chain where I feel like it gets made fun of, but then I also feel like it is a thing that people, a lot of people, survive on. For I, I think it is like a decent work lunch. If you're saying we're getting Chipotle, I'm like, all right, I'm happy. Chipotle, I can get what I need yes, there. I'm, yes. I'm fine. It's fine. Yeah. Chipotle has this like interesting thing where it's like, I feel like it is the, and you guys may disagree with me, but I think it is in the the conversation to be in the top three fast casual rest. Like it's like it 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 gives you all this the flavor of like a fast food restaurant. It gives you a little bit more like we're making it fresh for you. It makes you get a little bit like, like it kind of hits all the marks of. Mm-hmm. Uh, like a fast casual that's elevated, but yet also hitting that sweet spot of being like, oh, I'm I'm being bad. Like yeah. I'm not I'm not. It's You're not right. like a salad. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, and there's not other. I really can't think of any other place that feels like I'm getting that flavor palette and those other things on top of it. Yeah, that's a it, great it, point. It's a great it's point. a it's a common go to for me. Uh, I I will say that like if I do want to indulge a little bit, I will get the burrito at times, and I feel like the burrito had the can burrito. Be, you don't have to is the thing. The burrito, the, the burrito can be pretty, can good. Be pretty good if it's hidden. The, the burrito also, I feel like, has more margin for error than the the bowl. The funny thing with the burritos burrito. is that, like it's like almost a soggy big fucking. It, it, it needs to be a little warm because a lot of times you'll get them and they're cool. Yes, but that's like, that's. I, I feel like there's more there's more range of outcomes when it comes to the burrito. Well, to me, it's like you, we got to figure out the perfect wrapping system for burrito because that's the thing. It's like I want to be able to like tear eat rat like I want to have like I don't want that goopy mess I don't want that right. tube of goop that you're talking about I want to have like a tightly wrapped ready to go burrito that's not one bite and explosion it's not like that I don't need that I was trying to think of why I like it the chipotle burrito because like it is a thing that I came around on and I do actually genuinely like it and I think it's the thing of like it's a big carb bite it's like the, you got the wrap and then you got so much rice. They, and like, I think some people don't like the burritos because they have so much rice in it, but it's just a huge carb on carb bite. You know what I mean? You're getting so much fucking white rice in fucking in tortilla. And I, I love that. For it definitely reason. feels like a meal in the way yeah. that like a Jersey Mike sub does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Earl Powell, you mm-hmm. song swears by Chipotle burritos, has them all the time. Mm hmm. Uh, let's let's talk about pressed a little bit. So we all ate pressed in advance of this record. Uh, we got the 
I got the Acai Power Bowl, which is what you also got, Mitch. Uh, I'll read the description for this. This is almond butter with banana, almonds, granola, and blueberries. And the base is acai, oat milk, and coconut cream. Mm -hmm. I think this, I believe this is vegan, uh, which is, you know, uh, to its to its credit. Um, and I hadn't had, I don't know if I'd had the Power Bowl before. I could be mistaken. Maybe even had it on the podcast before. But I know last time I got a different bowl. Mitch, had you gotten, had you had this bowl before? Do you remember this bowl? This, yeah, this is, oh yeah, this is the, this is the one that I always this get. This is your go-to. So I should have changed it up, but I know that it's good. Here's, here's my thought with this is that like, there's not a ton of options here. Like there's only a few bowls. Yeah. And then it's, and so that, that's what makes it harder as a bowl place. Why well, is it kind of like the Lakers in what, 2003 or four, when, when was it just Kobe? What are you talking about? I'm talking the only Kobe. It was never era. just Kobe. Yeah. We just retired Paul Gasol. Paul Gasol, story, yeah, yeah, Paul Gasol. But there was there was that little era where Shaq, you know, the Shaq interregnum, left, the just Shaq Co Powell interregnum. Kobe. And uh, so that would have been like 2005. I think he's traded. I think Shaq is traded to the Heat in 2005. The oh, Heat exactly. won that title. I thought, I thought it was let early. Me, season. Let me ask yeah. you a question before, and I know it's not to, I, I, this may be more appropriate for the NBA chat. Do you go harass? Your Clipper fan friends that like Russ Westbrook is on our team. I feel like I got a lot of a lot of my Laker fans. People are like up in my like. You see, you see, and what I don't like about it is mm -hmm. Russ isn't giving us the same issues. Yes, that there are. Here's the thing. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sorry to interject here. Please. Wags hates the Celtics. And he also hates the Clippers. It's true. He hates this right. side of the room. You're, we okay. you're wearing a Celtics hat. Sheer is wearing a Clippers yeah. hat, yeah. and I am seething. But it's okay. Yeah. And you're wearing a fresh hat, which just pisses uh, me off. I thought about wearing a Laker hat, and I was like, it's going to be too incendiary. I was like, I'm not going to wear a Laker hat today see, consciously. See, and I and I put this on, and I was like, I've already messed up with Weiger with the pizza. Now I'm going to wear it. Wait, go, go back. Go back. So I literally put on this. I felt like this is more. Yeah, hoodie that, is yeah, great. It's great. Hoodie. Um, go back to your point. I'm sorry. But my point was this. Um, I and I get and I get rivalries and yeah. I'm all for rivalries and I will tell you this much as but see, a sorry I, again he doesn't think of you that way he doesn't think of the Clippers as a rival okay so uh, they're <laughs> they're beneath him am I am I being honest I'm sure they are you know I'm, I'm sure being honest I, I'm sure they are I've, yeah. I I don't even go that deep with Weiger on it because I know that he it, he, see, he that. It's a place of hatred. So I don't I don't even want I don't even want to toy with him. I'm not gonna I'm mm -hmm. not gonna try to pull him back. I've I've recognized it. Like this is Anakin. He's this is Anakin right before he's gonna kill those kids in uh in the third movie. Like, yeah. you know, he's he's in the Jedi he's in the Jedi Academy. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> like I'm like, there's no there's no words I can say to make mm -hmm. him not slice those kids in half. Um Yeah, he's always hanging around the Jedi Academy. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this. Uh but I will say, like, I can recognize um, that the Lakers made some very good decisions uh, post trade. I feel like they've have had uh, some rough, you know, a rough little go of it. And yes. uh, but are you harassed? I mean, you don't harass me. We don't no. again because I don't even engage. I don't go in that sure. world mm -hmm. with Nick. And we both are. I think I have basketball tattoos. You have bat like we are both in. We're in. Like we're yeah. not casual. We're here. Do you harass your clip? No, clip? I don't. But I will. I will say that like I will talk some shit. Mm -hmm. But I have also like gotten. I've calmed down a lot. And okay. I think a lot of it is just just was just COVID, where yeah. I was just like, I should not never get like angry about sports. I just okay. like I just kind of like kind of reached a point where I'm just like I reassessed all of my life's priorities and was like I I just this isn't a thing I need to get into. But I but so yeah no I, but I will definitely talk with Clippers fans about like the what it's like to have Russell Westbrook on the, 100%, the team. Yeah, and. It, it posed a lot of challenges. I was rooting for him because he's from here and I know yeah. he grew up a Laker fan and I wanted him to work on the Lakers. I didn't think that trade made sense, but I was like, oh, I, I would I would love it if I was wrong and this worked out. And there were times when he was being a six man where it's like, eh, it's kind of working here. But overall, yeah, it, 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 it unfortunately has been addition by subtraction to get him off the roster. He seems to be gelling with the Clippers right now. They seem to be doing. I think they're, they're very different teams. Yeah, yeah. And I think that like, I think part of, I mean, sorry, we'll get off this very quickly. I'll just say like, I think that part of his. He's pissed. Uh, <laughs> I think that part of it, I think that part of his thing is figuring out how he fits in. And I think a, a coach is very important in that. And I, and I feel like for whatever reason, his a minimized role or how he should be playing was not positioned to him in a way that he was either a ready to hear or be ready to do. Yeah. And maybe after the emotional impact of this season, he was open to changing. So I don't know. I, I, it's a longer conversation that I would like to get into, but I'm holding back on a lot of different no. thoughts, but I, I also root for him. I think he's a lovely guy. I saw him at Easter brunch. He wasn't at my table, but wow. he was at a table. That's like, amazing. My son had all of his basketball cards went up to him. The loveliest guy. Yeah. Sweet. 
it's kind. And, and I really enjoy seeing him in these post-game interviews because he's like such a lovely dude. Everything I've heard about him is like he, you know, when when it sounds like the Lakers are kind of toxic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, they called him a vampire. That was the it's crazy true. thing. Yeah, vampire in the locker room. But what I've heard like when they they started Wait, who like, did? the team that was like a thing that emerged yeah. from I think Dave McMenamin had one of the Lakers beat reporters had or the the Lakers ESPN reporter. Why were they calling? Like, why were they calling him a vampire? I think just because he was kind of a negative force. I think it was But then they show all these videos of him being super positive, yeah. which I don't understand. So the, my question to you also yeah. is this, as I said to my friend, uh, Alan Yang, who's a, a very big Lakers fan, we often chat back and forth. Uh, do you think that LeBron is the problem? Friend of the show. I. It seems like being LeBron, I passed up boys' guess. It, it seems like LeBron is maybe not the 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 funnest teammate to be around for long stretches. I make my words yeah. carefully here because I I do like LeBron a lot. I do think he's 100%. one of the greatest players of oh. all time. He brought he's brought the I uh, brought the Lakers a championship. The bubble championship is like uh, one of the most memorable sports things of of my life. Being able to enjoy that yes. at, at a very dark time in the world. And but like uh, it seems like there's a lot of like he's with teammates and at a certain point he kind of like maneuvers with the front office to shift people out and shift other people in. You know, it, it, it seems right like he's maybe a difficult good. guy to work with. Yeah, yeah. there's a, like people pop up. But anyway, yeah. well, it's a larger conversation. Do you count yeah. that championship as like an actual real championship or no? Yes, like, I do, Mitch. Oh, okay, interesting. Despite your trolling, yes, I do. Oh. And I think if the Cl if the Celtics had won, you would feel you would feel the same way. No, Mickey Mouse championship. I would not. I wouldn't <laughs> count it. Um, <laughs> See, I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna sit back here and enjoy because I, I enjoy. I have a lot of things to say about. He actually that. hates the Celtics more than I hate the Lakers. That is the truth. I don't even hate the Lakers that. I well, do respect. I do respect the Celtics though. But yeah, th there's there's also what like he was a saying there is he does not respect the Clippers. Which I, is a no, well, thing. well, hold on. I was gonna say it's a what you were saying, Sheer. Rivalries are part of sports, and, and uh, part of the fun of sports is rooting vampire. against teams. Yes. rooting against. There's this. a vampire like, in the fucking studio. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I test I, I texted uh, Dunktown a photo of our acai bowls, bitch, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 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 I get a responded, uh, "Okay, brag." And Anastasia says, "Some beautiful bowls." So positive reaction to the Gert chat. I was gonna say they should have told us doesn't count. That doesn't count as Gert. There's no yogurt. Well, I didn't in there. say uh, what they were. I just said they like they look like they, they look like, like if you asked me if there's yogurt involved in those bowls that we had today, I was like, yeah, sure. It's like trying to. Past that championship for being a real one. It's a real it's not, championship. It's not, a, it's, not, <laughs> it's not. And it's not a real yogurt bowl. Um, I was going to say that it's like, this is going to give a, a compliment to the, mm -hmm. the, but the Lakers of the two the post Shaq Kobe era there that was before Paul, Paul Gasol came over, um, where it was kind of, it was a, a shitty time. And yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, but you have one star of the show. Parker and it's, it's a tough comparison because I, I actually think that Prest is good. I'm just saying, like, there's one star here is this bowl, and there's not, and I guess we've never tried any of the other ones, which is on us. No, I've tried the other bowls. I've had all of their bowls. I, I will say that, but they, they don't have a lot. They, they don't have, like, have a four lot. bowls. They yeah. have the dragon fruit at some locations, See, but this not is, ours. This is what I will say. Yeah. I like that. I like a, we talked about Concur. Clark's early on, like, do whatever you do well. Chipotle's like that, too. Mm. They got, like, and I don't need a big menu. Like, just give me what you do well, and if you do it well enough, then I'll just go there for that. Like oftentimes, I'm just going back to the same restaurants I like that are in this world and having the same thing. I'm like, oh, I like that, what I had. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change my order. How much yeah. do you change up? Like truly, the places that you really love and frequent, do you change up your order that much? No, no. I once I figure out what I want, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. And I, I, I love a streamlined menu. I, hey, fucking Gordon Ramsay goes in, uh, and and screams his head off of what a restaurant is doing wrong. One of the first things he zeroes in on is you you have got too many menu items. Yeah. You, your menus you're not the cheesecake factory. You don't need to have like this eight page menu. Simplify it to what you do well. Yeah. I. It's just this is going to be a really tough one. Wow. Because I think that the Chipotle Bowl to me has become synonymous with work time lunches, and I think it's a good choice. Sure. And this is one that has I don't think of pressed as much of as, as a bowl place, but I do think that they have a great, great bowl. Okay, well, I, I wanna say that the bowl that I got at Press Please. was the, I got, and I intentionally picked this, the original. Uh, I don't know what that, what the ingredients are. I I'll just, bring it uh, up. Yeah, okay. Because I wanted to make sure that if I was going there, like they, they always say, like, if you're gonna try somebody's ice cream, yeah. you try vanilla. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right, and that's, I'm all, I'm all about Parker it. So like, that. that's, yeah. So I, I, my equivalent is the cheese pizza from a from a pizza place. That's great too. Yeah, I totally buy that. 
All right, so what do we got in this original bowl? Okay, the uh, the acai original smoothie bowl consists of uh, all about the base, an ingredient base of oat milk and coconut cream, uh, plus acai, acai, and then it has maple syrup, monk fruit, and banana, berries, granola, and agave. I'm going to tell you what I thought was wrong about this bowl. Mm. But this is not going to be... I'm not, I'm not going to give you a sneak preview of what I think I'm going to be voting on here, but I'm going to say that maple syrup was too much. Ooh. Interesting. It, it, and actually, I think, brought out a wrong side of the granola for me because the granola is what I'm looking for to kind of cut through yeah. some of the sweetness and kind of Huge give me a different texture. Mm -hmm. That granola was wrapped in maple syrup, and I was like, oh, too sweet. It's sweet on sweet. And it's like, there's a local place out here uh, that does bowls. And I, I like them because I think that a perfect bowl like that, an acai bowl, mm -hmm. it needs to tart, cold. Uh, I think it needs to be, uh, I think there needs to be parts that are very soft and parts that are very hard. Mm. Like, you know, like, I think- you're, you need, Yeah, you're gonna go in for a piece of banana here. Yeah, yes, I got it. You need, you need a real texture. Like it needs to kind of, I think, I don't call it a dessert bowl. I don't even know what you would call these bowls. Are they dessert bowls or are they just like, it's not a Smoothie lunch. Smoothie bowls? A they're, yeah, they're, I think they, this is a breakfast, breakfast bowl. bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I got a question for you. What is this local place? We can also bleep it out if you don't want. Oh yeah, no, I uh, I would say Juice Crafters. Uh, oh right yeah, Juice there Crafters. The, the Gelson's over I think that's here. a small chain. There's a few of them. Yeah, there's a I few like of that. them, yeah. It sounds like Lens Crafters. I like it. Yeah, um, Juice Crafters is good. Uh, they're, they, yeah, and they, but they just make a very good acai bowl that is like where the peanut butter is like, that fresh, like that fresh pressed mm. peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And this is, and, and why I bring it up is because pressed could do everything that juice craft. This is not like, yeah. this is where every playing field is equal on that acai bowl, I believe. I got one more question. Yeah. Where do you see Westbrook at brunch? We can also bleep this out. Oh, Four Seasons. So we wow. went to the Four wow. Seasons Easter brunch. Wow. He was there with his family. Um, I told my son to bring his basketball cards because I knew he was going to get bored at Easter brunch. By the way, their Easter brunch was insane and amazing and I highly recommend it. And it was, I think it probably was expensive, but it was a great, it, Easter's a weird holiday. So it was like yeah. a great day. You know, I was, I'm just relieved you didn't see me there. I was, I had like a card. I was ready to meet the Easter bunny. I was really excited <laughs> about it. But I will say that we sat, literally sat right next to him. Um, my son the Easter had, Bunny or the Easter Bunny. Yeah. And, wow. he was, and was like, he leaving a little dust? Well, he left all the dust. <laughs> and I was like, it is true. <laughs> um, my son has actually had this like amazing thing where he's got to meet a handful of like awesome, uh, like he's always has his basketball. He, he, he had that. He happened to have his basketball cards on. But one time I went to a card store. I bought him a Dwayne Wayne card because my wife is in Cheaper by the Dozen, the remake with Zach Braff with Gabriel Union. And I was like, I bet you Dwayne Wade will be at that premiere. We went inside and I saw him right there and I was wow. like, Gus, boom. I dropped him a card and gave him the thing and he went right over and Dwayne Wade signed that card. And it was like, wow. It was in like, amazing. it was, a, that was like, he's gotten to meet like Dwayne Wade, gotten to meet uh, Russ. He got to meet, got a fist bump from Luke Kennard. Very casual meetings. We didn't like plan this in any major way, but it's a, it was, it's been Have any of the NBA guys like been like, this is a pretty good card and taking it from him? Or yeah. They, no? Well, you know what it was? <laughs> the one that we got Russ to sign was a big head card. Wow. And it's called Slam Masters. And Slam Masters are like just giant heads on little bodies. And they're very like, I mean, I don't say they're artistic, but they're just weird looking. Yeah. Uh, they're not worth much. Like chibi. Yeah. Like, and so it's like, it's just like, ah, you know, it's like, so it's Blake's got one, a bunch of guys have. So it was like, he did go like, like it was, a, it was a, a moment of like, what, what, am, I, what am I signing? Uh, you know, it's not a, not an insult to him. Yeah. But he was also going through, that was last Easter, going through a rough yeah. time. Uh, mm, I think sure. with the fans, I was at a couple Laker games, Laker games, not Clipper games, but Laker games where, you know, it was, that's a tough environment to play in. Yeah, it's tough. Why you're booing him incessantly. <laughs> yeah. Were, were you a person that were, were cheering? Cause I, I felt like I was behind a lot of people like, don't shoot. Like people were doing that. I thing. don't do that. I don't heckle my own team, my own squad. I don't, yeah, I don't, same, I don't like good. that move. Like I, I definitely have things that frustrate me, but it's more like. You know, you but I'm not the gonna... one though. During the bubble, you kept on threatening Danny Green's uh, pregnant baby mama. You're like, yeah, you yeah. Should, that was yeah. the one <laughs> exception when he missed what what could have won the the, the NBA finals. You know, I kind of went off. By the way, bit. it was like the second game. He couldn't yeah, even yeah. Won it. It was, yeah. so, it was so it was such a meaningless game, or not meaningless, but it wasn't like they were up and he made it was like whatever, and it was like. His, fuck his mom. Like, his, his baby's mom. I was like, wow. I was like, geez. And they won the series. So yeah, they, it's like, yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah. yeah. Um, when, I, when my mom and dad came out one time back, back 
way back in the day, um, we went to Moza and uh, we were by Rupert Murdoch. We, like Rupert Murdoch was at the table next wow. to us. Wow. Wow. And my mom was like, Mike, go say hello to him. He's your boss. Cause I worked at the Simpsons. And I was like, mom, no, just be quiet, please. He's oh. not my boss at the Simpsons. And she thought since I like worked at Fox, yes, I could go over to the table and be like, you know, I work at Fox and like put in a yeah. like put in a good word for me, and I'd be hired on. Yeah. So you yeah. went over to his table, and he was actually reading through the Simpsons scripts, giving notes. <laughs> you know, like, oh, this is too broad. Uh, a little more Homer for this episode. <laughs> yeah. um, you go yeah. to Moats with a pile of scripts. <laughs> New Girl, Simpsons, just getting into it all. I just I quickly went over and said, "I love your politics. I gotta go." And I go. <laughs> uh, the the makes me want to talk about the Sumner Redstone book some more, but I I, I won't. Barker's reading the Sumner Redstone. I finished. I finished. It's a great book. Did you there read you. the Showtime Lakers book? And not that this is like, but I was no, I didn't read that. That's no. a great book. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard good things. Yeah, it's yeah, really good. So we the the I'll say this because you were talking about textural variation yes. and the bowls. I do think the Power Bowl does that well. I do think that that the you know the the almonds and the granola in there gives it some great crunch. Did your a, did your with granola the, have maple syrup on it? Ha, um, or you didn't taste it. I found my it's not our, it's our not listed on the uh, okay. on the the ingredients here. It might have been it, it, it if it was it was a little bit subtler. This was not punishingly okay. sweet. I'll tell you. I'll also tell you a revelation for me today is that I realized I maybe just really like almond butter, which our bowl has. Yeah, it's good. It has a drizzle of almond mm. butter on it, and I'm like, that's so that's doing so much legwork for me with the bowl. Yeah, As, and I'll say this. The fruit is very fresh. Like that banana is chopped up. Nice banana. Nice blueberries. There's a lot of good stuff there. The base of the bowl can be a little too cold sometimes, Wags. We talked about that. It can be like. Oh, my. It's so cold. It's, it's, it's fucking cold. aggressively right, yeah, cold. You don't it's colder than ice teeth. cream. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so, I don't know how they get it so cold. Mm -hmm. It's too cold. It's sometimes. too cold. It's too cold. Refrigerated bowls. But I mean, I guess that's what it is. But yeah, it's a refrigerator. But it's like it's. Oh, like, I'm saying the bowls that have secret little mini. Oh, fridge. you think they, yeah. they got a refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> it's they, really they're losing so much money. Yeah, you trash them, but yeah. they're throwing away a mini refrigerator. It makes so much that. sense to me now that it's you do have to plug it in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's humming. But you know, talking about texture, like let's just, let's debate that for a second because we're talking about the texture of that. But like chipotle bowls, that's another thing too. It's like I think you need to figure out like the rice bean mixed too yeah. because if the beans mm -hmm. are too soft like you need to have a little bit of like you need to have a little bit of this like uh not friction but you want to have like you want to have a, like a texture contrast and i think that's yes, the important that's thing it, that's it the contrast you want to mix it up because so you're not just a, eating a big thing of goop right i will say what i i always get the feed of veggies for a little bit of crunch which i think is the same thing you're doing with using your uh chips as a yes. delivery mechanism it's just like i this is so mushy uh, that anything with some with a little bit of, of crunchies in there a uh, 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 pluses it up I, I don't know. I like this the Power Bowl a lot, Mitch. I think I like the almond butter as well. I think that just that goes almond a long butter way. does it goes a long way. I for me, I think I do enjoy the Chipotle Bowl, and I think it's like, but it is very much like feels like a work lunch, or it's like, oh, I want to have a burrito, but I'm having a, a a burrito bowl instead. Where I do think that this uh, acai breakfast Power Bowl, yeah. Feels like you're really like it feels like ooh this is like fancy and indulgent in some way this it feels like more of a tr more of a treat. Now this is something that I know that a lot of the fans say, especially on Patreon, like that you're kind of a classist, right? So mm -hmm. you're you know you're looking at you're looking down at the the workaday lunch bowl, right? Like, as like oh that's what the the people just who I don't work do in my company, like yeah, yeah, like they're eating that. Uh, but I, well, here's what I'll say. Yes, I'm like yes, get one for you know like uh, the head gum hunks who are. <laughs> Casey, you can have a Chipotle bowl. I'll have my fancy yeah. fucking, what is I, it called? Up at the top of your 60 stairs, just having your acai bowl. But I do think that there is something about the, I do think that there's something about the presentation of it. Like there is a freshness to that pressed bowl yeah. that makes you feel like I'm eating an elevated meal. It's gorgeous. It's really, yeah. and even the almond butter Peter North on top, it like, it looks so, it's so presentable. It, you know, I made a joke being like, yeah. Casey, you can have the, your, your, whatever your meal is. And then I realized today I was jealous of Casey's lunch while we were eating <laughs> our as, acai bowls. He got, he got a Mendocino Farms chicken and, pro, and prosciutto sandwich. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, good. Really I would rather have that. Look good. I would rather have that than the uh, and that the, like th that brings me back to reality where it does. It looks like you went to the Beverly Hilton or something and you're sure. at the pool. Right, you that's, got a, a fucking, that's a spa snack. It yes, is a spa, it's a spa snack, snack, very much so. But, but no, I'm like, I would rather that sandwich. That sandwich looked fucking good. Sandwich looked great. 
can I just, because I feel like we're in this zone right now where I need to like just get clarity for myself. Are we talking about this in the sense of this is what we would want forever on a desert island? Or like, how, how should I be looking at this? Or is this a better bowl? This is a better presentation. What, like how, like, how are you looking at it when we're, when we're making our final deliberations about these two bowls? Cause they're very different flavors. They're very different types of things. This just changed. Honestly, this right now, I'm, uh, things just kind of flipped around in my head. Wow. Wow. Well, you know what? This is part of the evaluation. This is part of what our decision will come down and to. We'll it's a, and this is a great question, which by the way. It's a great question. You can add, you can add your own category. Yes. We'll, we'll break down all the categories. We'll okay. determine a winner right after this break. Fuck. Mitch, you know, at our place, we don't have any pets, but I do love critters. I do love furry, fuzzy Annapals. And we know that you are mm -hmm. a proud cat dad. Wags, I love Wally and Irma so much. I was laying with them in bed earlier today, smiling, just looking at their faces. I love Wally and Irma. And I know that people out there, our listeners, they love their little fur babies, as people call them. Mm, and pets aren't just like family. Mm -hmm. They are family. They are, Wags, they are family. So when you need to find a sitter for your fur baby, go to care.com slash pets. It's easy and fast to find local, experienced, and background-checked pet caregivers. From dog walkers to cat sitters, there's long or short-term care options at Care. It's so easy, fast, and it's more affordable than you think. Just go to care.com slash pets and search for candidates, view profiles, read reviews, and ratings, see availability, plus more. You can even post a job for pet caregivers to apply to. Whether you need pet sitting or boarding, you have options to choose from. And rest assured, all pet caregivers who you can interact with are required to complete a background check. You can even find other kinds of care, including child care, housekeepers, caregivers for seniors, and more. Find care for all you love. I've always said, Mitch, if you're good enough to take care of my cats, you can take care of my grandma. Go to care.com slash pets now and see why over 3 million households use this amazing platform. Find a caregiver your furry family will love by visiting care.com slash pets. That's care.com slash pets. Welcome back to Doughboys. As we continue Munch Madness Bowl with Paul Shear, it's time to do our ratings. And wow. before we get into that, Mitch, uh, mm -hmm. I do have an announcement I have to make that will be dated by the time this episode releases, but I feel like we just should get your live reaction. This is the headline I, I saw over the break. It's official. Duncan has confirmed the Duncachino's retirement. <gasps> wow. Wow. Yep. This yeah. is like Duncan you... is officially retired. A statement to, to today.com, a Duncan spokesperson confirmed. As we focus on innovation and finding new ways to delight guests, we continually evolve our menu in an effort to deliver a fast, frictionless experience. The Duncachino is retired for now, but there's always a chance for its return in the future. They're leaving the door just cracked like Taco Bell. Like, hey, we might bring it back. I don't know. Can we get Al Pacino on the horn? Because <laughs> uh, he's really the one that's connected to it. He should do some sort of retirement song. It's him. not Al anymore. Uh, it's Dunk. Dunk. God, it's so <laughs> fucking good. I, I don't know if I've talked to you about this, and this is going to make us enemies, and I don't, I don't even want to go there. Oh, no. I always no. want to enjoy... A Dunkin' Donuts coffee, and I never, and I feel like it's too. I want, like, I, I go and I'm like, maybe this is the time. Maybe I'm ordering the wrong things. I look online. I'm like, what should I be ordering? And I never feel like I get the right thing. So, are you a full on Dunkin' coffee guy? I think it is Which the is best. Furious. I'm, I'm furious. Uh, um, <laughs> I think it's the best fast food coffee that there is. I think it's a million times better than Starbucks. I, I like McDonald's, but I do like Dunkin' Donuts. You like Dunkin McDonald's? McDonald's coffee. I do. What like are you guys coffee. getting though? Like that. This is where I, I do. I, I'm I'll, I'll apart. either do just a small uh, black coffee with no cream or sugar, or if I do get okay, I'll do a small with with just cream and sugar. Okay. See, I'm doing iced coffees. I'm doing these Dunkachinos. I I have not ever had like a straight up. Dunkin' Donuts. I, coffee. I, I think I think simpler is better there. I mean, I, agree. I think, but okay. with an iced coffee, if you get an iced coffee black or with cream and sugar, you should be okay. I think. Uh, okay. The, yeah, yeah. The 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 issue I have with some of their iced drinks is that they just they taste a little sciency. Yes. Like they've got 100%. like a little bit yes. artificial flavor to them, and I'm just like, I I don't need this this vanilla you know iced vanilla latte. Just, just give me their straight up coffee, and if I just get a black coffee from there, I'm usually sitting pretty. I do like also their breakfast menu. I like their, their breakfast sandwiches. I think their breakfast sandwiches are great. Yeah. I think they're dunk. I, I, I'm all I'm an East Coast person, so I'm a Dunkin' person. I never drank coffee until I got older, 
And then I've always been like, oh, what's the magic drink here? But I'll tell you, like, I don't like a Starbucks iced coffee either. I think I like a coffee bean iced coffee. Like iced coffee is a trickier thing, I think, to kind of nail, in um, my opinion. What's, what's, what's something from your, do you have like something from your hometown that <laughs> you love, like, like is from your hometown? Mm, not like uniquely, like not like a unique, unique thing like that. I feel mm. like, I mean, I grew up East Coast, Long Island, so I feel like there's a lot of, no, I mean, like all the places I realized that I thought were my unique places, like Red Lobster or mm -hmm. Chain. Mm -hmm. It's know. like if Red Lobster was from like Long Island, you're, and I was like, Red Lobster tastes like shit. Well, he didn't say he was open Myers like because yeah. Quincy, Massachusetts, is the home place of Dunkin' Donuts. Wow, you have too much pride in this. I my was... my Lakewood, California, is a home of Denny's. Who gives a shit? I look. Okay, I'll and say this. Fred is rolling in his fucking grave right now. <laughs> where I sh where I grew up. Apparently, they shot sequences of the Kevin Klein movie In and Out, where he plays a closeted teacher. So that's wow. If you were to talk about In and Out, the uh, the Kevin Klein movie, not the Burger Place, yeah, I would be furious. In and Out, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is my thing. Like I keep on like I'll, I tell you this much: I order from Dunkin' Donuts every Sunday. Every Sunday. Wow. All right, that's wow. I get. Uh, You're doing better than me. Uh, I get. Uh, I get a thing of Munchkins because we have a that's little. Fun. We have a uh, Munchkins uh, are great. Yeah, Munchkins are great. I, I love Dunkin' Donuts. I love their breakfast food, and I just felt like I. But now I'm gonna go and have their regular coffee. I I thought, and again, I'm not a coffee drinker, so like this is a new. That's thing the whole me. thing. Yeah, You're, yeah, but Mitch also not a coffee drinker. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. Um, but Dunkin's one of the only ones that I do enjoy. Yeah, me, I gotta I have was, my Java. You were telling me to come down. I wasn't really upset. I mean, I mm. am fucking furious. Uh, <laughs> What's your favorite part of the Dunkachino uh, sketch with Al Pacino? For me, I think it's a, uh, it's a uh, say hello to my chocolate friend. That's good. That one's really good. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, chocolate good. blend. That's what it is, <laughs> not chocolate friend. <laughs> I also like when he says Dunka 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 Dunkachino. <laughs> Part's great. It really never ceases to be entertaining. <laughs> that that video, like what, like. <laughs> I I will go to bat for Sandler. I love Hubie Halloween. Oh, my there's certain movies funny. that I love more than others. I'm not an elitist about this, but whoever came up with that idea, like to be like, let's do this, a goddamn genius. Like yeah, that great. is like truly one of the funniest, craziest bits because you get everything without the embarrassment that he did it. Yeah, like, right. And right. I think that's what you want. Like it's like it is a full on perfect. Big commercial. It's like Ben Stiller level uh, commercial. Yeah, it's Good great. Stuff. It's a, and you know what else is great is Dunkin' Donuts. It's a, it's just Boston of, Cream. They're Boston Cream. Boston Cream's one of good. The best things. I, 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 I feel like I'm searching for that flavor in different places. Don't I don't need any of your fancy cronuts. I don't need any of your stuff. I need that Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Time to make the donuts. More like time to get insulted. Wow. Jeez. Again, I mean, I he grew came up back with those. around. And I mean, I was like, really it was only asking about Sunday. a very specific coffee. Yeah, one of one of their. Can items. I just be real with you? If Wu and Mikeus and Shankton were here, you'd be a dead man right now. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be a fucking dead man right now. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's rate these chains. So, and Sheer, you can't add your own category at the end. Right. We have a lot of categories, Mitch. Yes. Uh, we're, you're going to go first. I'm going to talk you through them. Let's try to keep this uh, this fast because yes. we're already way over. All right, first category, Mitch, mm -hmm. greens. Uh for. You know what? I gotta give this to Chipotle of the two because the greens count as fruit, not really, right? Yeah, mm, they I grow so. on trees and bushes. Oh, all right. Then you know what? It, it's a green choice to eat vegan. You know what? I'm gonna go over to the pressed. Now wins this. Wow, this pressed. Is, pressed wins greens. Uh, speaking of category, the next category is fruit. Speaking of fruit, the next category is fruit. See, now I feel like I should have given it to Chipotle. I'm gonna go back, give the greens to Chipotle. Okay, give fruit. To press. Wow. Press wins fruit. Grains. Grains, that's gonna go to Chipotle. Even though press does have good granola. I like that granola. If it's not too mapley. I'm gonna go Thai. Wow. Mm -hmm. Next up, granola. That goes to pressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean by default, it had granola. I, yeah, that's yeah, right. granola. Protein. Both have good protein. I love that almond butter. Um, I think you get more protein options at Chipotle, and I like a lot of them. I'm going Chipotle. Yogurt. Yogurt is going to go to to pressed. Nut butter. Nut butter is going to go to pressed. Feels like there's maybe a thumb on the scale for pressed just in the category. Yeah, the yeah. categories are really, yeah. yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. I'm going to add a category called Mexican. 
<laughs> okay. I mean, do you want that to be your category? No, 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 okay. no, no. no. <laughs> you, you, the category you brought up earlier was good, by the way. The, yeah, that's yeah. true. Desert Island is a great category. All right. Uh, we just did nut butter dips. Dips, I'm going to go to Chipotle. Dressing. Dressing, I'm going to go to Chipotle. Megan Trainer, a.k.a. The Base. I'm going to actually give that to Chipotle because I like their white rice a lot, and I think that the base is maybe my least favorite part of the bowl. Like, I like all the stuff on top of the mm-hmm. bowl more than I like the base. So I'm going to Chipotle. Also, the base at, at the of the acai bowl. Too cold. Very cold. Too cold. It's freezing. Mm-hmm. Bowl is the next category. Bowl. Oof. Bowl. Damn, both tie. They're both really good bowls. Wow. They're both really good bowls. Silverware. I'm going to give that to Prest. Drinks. Mm, I didn't get one at either. I'm going to go NA for You know what? Right, I give I'm going to give I'm going to give that to Prest because they have great juices. They do have a lot of good juices there, but I although mm-hmm. we did not get one we today. We did not get one. Bread. Bread goes to Chipotle for their tortillas. There's no real bread option at but remember the rule, uh, chips. chips are bread. Okay, so there are no chips also at press. Yeah, okay. Right, fair enough. Next up, treat. Did I get a treat? We know no. it's technically bread though too, right? Yeah, that's true. Shit, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fuck. Good point. Uh, I'll, I'm going to still go with yeah. Chipotle. I just wanted to make sure you knew what the parameters were. Yeah, no, it's a way. I don't want to it, correct you. I, I agree with you. The, 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 worth the tortilla is still, if you get a side tortilla, it's still like, like, yeah. like Paul would do. Do you, have you, has, have you ever chips. done that? Have you gotten a side tortilla? I never do it. I never. Because I mean, at that point, I'm just like, why am I not just having a burrito? Yeah, I'm going to put this together on my own. Well, then you like that fajita experience. I guess so. But I, then if you, I guess if you're getting a, like si- a corn tortillas, maybe. Yeah, if you're getting yeah, a big yeah. flour tortilla, it's, it's uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it seems the unwieldy. The East Coast version of me always wants the, the shelled taco. I want the hard taco like that. Oh. I do like their hard and tacos. They, and they have good hard tacos. Yeah, they're and good. That's, like, that's a, yeah. I'm wanting Chipotle. Well, good. Go on. Okay. Did we do? We just did bread, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the the treat trifecta. First up, treat. Did I get a treat? I did not get a treat. N A for both. Uh, next up, treat. Is this a treat? I'm gonna say yes to both. Wow. Finally, treat Williams. Yes to both. Okay. Uh, Pally added those categories uh, originally as one <laughs> category, but they were broken out. Uh, in, in individually. Uh, next, Just from the Pally episode along, the categories ga- became, I think, two times longer. Well, uh, here's the thing. It, it wasn't just Pally. Uh, it was also Zach Cherry, because what Zach Cherry did is took the Pally categories and said those should all be individual categories, as well as some of our previous categories. So what, we should and then play, he added his own category so we as well. Sh- we should play him both of our former guests instead of just one. Both uh, very nice, very funny men who made uh, time for us, so we should blame them. Yeah. Uh, and we'll blame Shear for something as well. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, okay. Next up, uh, <laughs> Uncar Plut, a.k.a. Portions. This was the Oscar Montoya category. This is a great question. I'm satisfied. You know what? This is a tie. I, mm, do wow. I lean Chipotle? Chipotle, I'm almost, I'm always satisfied after eating a Chipotle bowl. Yeah. And I'm still hungry right now. Wow. So I think I'm going to go Chipotle, actually, by a slight, slight edge. Wow. Slight edge for Chipotle. Next up, mm-hmm. Navi. This was Zach's category. This one, hands down, goes to Prest. Uh, speed. This was Jordan Morris's category that he asked it to, to be attributed to Sonic the Hedgehog. Both good, but you know what? And you know, you know, for the for the blue guy himself, I mm-hmm. should go Prest. But I'm going to uh, Chipotle. How, what's faster than than having people scoop in what you want right then and there? All right, Mitch, you got jealous of everyone adding categories, so you added two of your own. Uh, mm-hmm. First category you added is the whale. Yeah. Would the whale like? Would it? the whale like it? Yeah. Yes, the whale would like Chipotle, and no, so Chipotle gets the win over over Prest. Brings us to our second category. You added uh, Piacon, the whale, which is would Piacon, the Tolkun from mm-hmm. Avatar: The Way of Water, a whale like creature, would he enjoy? I think of these? that that Piacon would like the acai bowl from Prest. So Prest wins that one. Uh, Arden added her category: motorboating. Which one would you want a motorboat? Which means like, like blah, yeah, just like really like blah, 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 just really get in there. Or does it give you the flavor? Like after you have to have your ear back. Whoa. You're like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. You know Another what? Way to think That's of a it. great point. Great point. I think I gotta give that to press because of that. Wow. Right. Because if I I go into press, I have a bite of that cold bowl. Like wow. you're saying. Uh, Sheer, Sheer's right. And finally, uh, Tammy Sager's category, nap or napkin. Chipotle gives nap. 
Mm-hmm. Napkin for pressed. Wow. Uh, and Sheer, did you have a category you want to add? Yes. Damon Damon Lindelof's Lost Wow, is my category. And this is like if you got stranded on a, an island mm-hmm. with the cast of Lost. Okay. We're talking uh, Hugo. Uh, that's the only one Locke, I remember. Uh, Locke. Sure. Know, Daniel Day Kim. Uh, you know, all these different the guy from Smoke the Smoke Monster. Smoke Monster. Smoke Polar Monster. Bear. Polar Bear. Um, Was there ever like a, a scary movie Mary style Andor joke? Pippin. Was there ever like a scary movie style like spoof of Lost? Because that could have been fun. There should have been. Uh, I feel like they never, it, that genre kind of died. Like oh. before Lost, I think kind of really got its steam. Because it would have been fun because yeah. they love making weed jokes if there was like the smoke monster was like a marijuana. Weed, yeah, and like they're that. like, yeah. That's a pretty that's And then they yeah. find out it's like Chit and Chong on the other side of the island. They go uh, to like a camera. That's yeah. good. That'd be really fun. All right. So yeah, that's the Damon Lindelof's Lost. <laughs> uh, would you like to get lost with, which bowl would you like to get lost with? It's like in Scary Movie 2 where the, the like the weed plant tries to smoke one of the Wayne's brothers. Uh huh. Yeah, By that's way, funny. There was a joke. Smokey tries those weed plant tries to smoke smoke. Uh, there, plant. there. I think I'm gonna misremember it, but I don't, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm remembering it perfectly. But in Scary Movie Two. There was that movie Signs, right, where they kind of showed you the alien kind of running by a window really quick. Like that's that's like all you yeah, saw. I that, know the exact joke you're talking you're right. about. And it's like, and they capture the alien. <laughs> Doesn't the alien have like tremendous diarrhea or something like that? Yeah, yeah it's window? like a weird. It's like the alien is like. It's like a the video is fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, and it, that made me laugh more than it should have in that movie. But again, that's not a category. Um, uh, I think if the another thing that could happen in the lost spoof is. Um, they're like, they're like, ah, why did we crash this plane? I blame the pilot. And then it's a cameo of Sully. And he's like, one for two ain't bad. I like that. Uh, I, you know, uh, um, I feel like you'd have to do a joke about like the clock and be like hitting the snooze button. So, oh, you know, yeah, that's he's good. always like, clunk. That's why he's like, well, I that's never good. Yeah, yeah, So that's yeah. a good joke. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I mean, they should make this. They should make it now. All right, I'm trying to find that scene. Uh, wait, r- real quick, Mitch, do you have a while you're finding that scene? We can we can get Shears ratings, but we need yeah. to get you to weigh in on on the Lost. Uh, if you're standing on an island, which bowl would you want to be lost? I'm gonna in? be honest with you. I think it would be almost it would be maybe more possible to make the pressed bowl on a, mm. on the island. Fair, that's fair. The refrigerators. But I would rather have that Chipotle bowl. Yeah, the, the, with the little refrigerator yeah, yeah, bowls. Yeah. But I would wrap. I think I'd rather have the Chipotle bowl. Wow! I just smelled myself. It's so hot in here. I can just, I can feel my like bo like coming off of my body. Jesus Christ! All right, let's fucking get through these it. categories. Come I'll on. move quickly. I will move quickly. Yeah, sorry. Uh, all right, here. Uh, greens. Greens. Chipotle. Fruit. Pressed. Grains. Chipotle. Because I'm considering the beans grains. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's fair. Granola. That's fair. Granola. I hated the granola pressed. So I'm going to find it. a, yeah, I just didn't like that maple syrup on that granola. It really turned me off. I appreciate granola on a bowl, but I have to judge what I had. So I'm going to have to default give it to Chipotle. Wow. Protein. Protein pressed. I like their protein more than I like the sofritas. Yogurt. Pressed. Nut butter. I had neither on both, but I would imagine that if I had to put nut butter in it, it was going to go to pressed. Dips. Chipotle. Dressing. Chipotle. Megan Trainer, aka the base. This is interesting. I'm going back and forth on this one, thinking yeah. about this, right? I do brown rice. I find that brown rice has a more solid consistency to my Chipotle bowl that mm-hmm. actually gives me my texture palette that I like a little bit more. I found that while I enjoyed the press bowl, I didn't link the base while cold. Well, it was a little too gooey for me, a little too sloppy for mm. me. I, I like a, mm. a firmer base, so Chipotle. I get it. Uh, I just just back to the Lost parody. Uh, it would be fun if they were like they had a tribal council like on Survivor. Oh yeah, and they, they voted one of them off. Yeah, and the guys like they was like, I want to go, I want to <laughs> leave. Let me just say that I yeah. found the scene. Okay, great. All right, yeah, and yeah. even watching it with the sound off <laughs> is very funny. I mean, Mitch first is of all, showing, there's a Mitch good gag before where oh, yeah, Charlie Sheen is unwrapping uh, what's his name's uh, yeah, sure, son. Yeah, sure. Let's get like, yeah, he's oh, eating, yeah, like, okay. his son's had like a, a Reese's. Jeremy Piven is the newscaster. Love mm-hmm. this. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's Shit what it is. Coming out it's of a horse, horse shit. It's a horse yeah. shitting and then an alien walking yeah. by. Yeah. And he keeps on just walking by. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty funny scene. <laughs> oh, yeah, dog, yeah, two dogs fucking. That's it. Yeah, and then more yeah, fucking. More fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the only kind of yeah. is there. If it is incensed. Yeah, that's a great bet. Uh, all right, next all right. category, bowl. 
I think Chipotle needs to get – this is like the Henry Chief Ford of bowls. They created a, a different si- style of bowl. It's, yeah. it's not – it's like an oval bowl. I think it, it creates a, a great package. I will say it gets gooier quicker, but I also think that that Tupperware tinfoil top, great, top-notch Chipotle. Silverware. I didn't get to really participate, so I'm going to take a, a mulligan on that one. Wow. Uh, drinks. Uh, definitely pressed because uh, I often find myself angry at Chipotle for their lack of drinks, their yeah. lack of choices. Like that's if you want to go point. get that, if you want to go get that, like Nantucket nectars. I know that's kind of close to you know Boston, but like, but Nanda, that's that's it. And they have beer, which is interesting. That's another solid, a solid. But I'm still gonna go pressed. Bread. Chipotle. Treat. Did I get a treat? I. I believe both of these to be treats. So can I say a tie for this? Can I say a tie? Yeah, yeah, that's okay, absolutely yeah, yeah. done. All right, finally, treat. Is this a treat? Um, I'm gonna give it another I'm gonna give another tie to is it a treat? Because I think that they I think that you feel a little bit like, oh, I had like a, a fun lunch or I had like a fun break. Like, mm-hmm. It's it's out of the norm of the normal breakfast or lunch, both of them. So I think yes. Treat Williams. Treat Williams, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give that to Chipotle, which is we don't recognize how much he was in. You know, he's not getting all that yes, recognition. Right. Like mm-hmm. he's he's someone who was just working, doing solid job. Like, yes, he's may not getting nominated, but he's he's like the Eric Roberts, I feel like, you know, so Great we're call. gonna look at that bowl of the press ball and be like, Oh, this is this is my, you know, this this is my Jamie Lee Curtis, this is my, you know, everything everywhere all at once. But right. we gotta look beneath the surface sometimes. Sheer gets the Treat Williams Award for the only person to try to even make sense of the character. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I Sherry, I know you're a big movie guy. David Sims of, of Blank Check, friend of the show, past yeah. guest, uh, after hearing our Treat Williams discussion in a previous episode, recommended a movie that I have not seen, that I'm planning on seeing, except it is a commitment, it is a full three hours, a Sidney Lumet movie from 1981 starring Treat Williams and Jerry Orbach called Prince of the City. Oh, have you wow. seen Prince of the City? I have seen Prince of the City. Yeah. But there was a couple of these movies that I feel like were films that, I don't know if it was blocked, but Pope of Greenwich Village, which I feel like you mm. can't get anymore. That one, King of New York. There was a lot of these movies yeah. that had like a similar kind of title. I remember that Prince of the City. Wow. Uh, all right, next up, Uncar Plot, aka Portions. Yes. Um, to me, I feel better with the portion of pressed. Sometimes Chipotle can make me feel like, oof. Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm gonna fill up the back of that Ford 150. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Navi. Navi pressed. Speed. Speed. You know what? I have to say that I imagine they both take about the same time. Mm. A Chipotle bowl does not look as beautifully put together as a press bowl. I'm going to yeah. give that to press. The whale. The whale would like Chipotle. Yeah. Piacon. Piacon, I am going to give that. It's a beautiful looking creature, obviously. It's majestic. It's different. It's from a different planet. And I think that whenever you're having anything like acai, even though it's of this world, it feels otherworldly. We yes. say it, it doesn't pronounce the right way. It doesn't look the way it's pronounced. It's so pressed. Motorboating. Motorboating. Mm, I'm going to give that to Chipotle because I'm going to give that, whoa, like I'm going to go like, mm. <laughs> like if I get a little spice, a little spice hit, right. blah, 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 blah. like, ooh, give it, you know, it's a different of the cold. <laughs> uh, nap or napkin? Um... I'm going to give a uh, napkin to hmm nap I'm going to give to press because it's a lot of sugar and I feel like it's going to like it's sort of like sure. give me that kind of up and then it's going to drop me down uh napkin to chipotle Finally your category Damien Lindelof's lost the tricky this is tricky cuz obviously what, what do you want in Desert Island I'm going to say that I'm going to always pick savory over sweet Mm. Uh, and so I'm going to go Chipotle. You know what? I love that as a rule just in itself. Savory over sweet. Y- yeah. It's, it's an interesting. I, I mean, if I, I have to yes. live with one thing. That's all I'm no. saying. I'm not saying, you know, but if it's if it's only given to me. No, that's a that's a that's a great point. Uh, all right. I'm up. Uh, greens, Chipotle, fruit, pressed grains, Chipotle, granola, pressed protein, <laughs> Pressed because I like that almond butter, and I do think there's a paucity of vegan options and vegetarian options for protein. At oh, okay, Chipotle. get on with it. Yogurt, pressed nut butter, pressed dips, Chipotle dressing, Chipotle. 
the base surprise win for pressed for me. Here. Wow. Even though it's too cold, wow. I cold. do I did really like the flavor of it. Uh bowl. Chipotle. I also like the idea of eating something spicy and going like <laughs> 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 You know what could be fun another fun thing for the Lost parody What's that? is there's like you see like um uh, there's like ocean creatures. Like you just see a shot of yeah. like uh, uh, Sebastian going like under the sea, under yeah, the sea, it. and then a spear goes through him. And like one of the lost guys was like, like I caught, I caught something to eat. You know? <laughs> I got, I got a good runner yeah. for the whole movie. Yeah, they're um, one person has cell phone service, uh, but they're just on hold the entire time with the airline. Oh, that's trying funny. To, like that's, uh, you know, that's really yeah. good. Like getting through to yeah, they call somebody whatever. else. Like yeah. no, I this flight didn't get to my destination. <laughs> they're upset and they only want to get the refund, and that's. You know, that's really yeah. good. The, they finally hang up, and then you, the person the call center is like, uh, uh, "Hello, sir, I'm ready for you." Yeah, the, <laughs> like, like, hello, yeah. hello. Oh, why? That's fucking good. Yeah, that's really good. Lost movie. It may feel weird to do now, but I don't know. There's a lot. Now's to the time it. to do it. I yeah, think. I think so. We've had plenty of time to think about the jokes. <laughs> uh, bowl I gave to Chipotle. Silverware, pressed drinks, pressed bread. Chipotle because the chips are bread. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Treat. Did I get a treat? Yes. Treat. Is this a treat? I think pressed is a treat. Chipotle, I wouldn't call a treat. Treat Williams? No. Uh, Uncar Plot, aka portions, I think pressed is a more manageable uh, portion. Navi, pressed. Speed? I'm going to give this to pressed because, like Sonic the Hedgehog, it is blue. Uh, the mm. Whale, Chipotle. Piacon? See, here's the thing. The instinct is to give it to pressed, but I do think that the the absence of protein makes it tough for a, a massive creature like a tolkoon to be yes. able to sustain itself on the acai bowl. So I think I'm going to go to Chipotle, especially my vegetarian version, which was not does not damage the ecosystem. Uh, motorboating, hmm, pressed. A nap or napkin, pass. Uh, finally, lost. Pass. Lost, I think I'd go, I would go with Chipotle. You pass? Yeah, pass. All right, finally, this year's version of the McKenna Conundrum from our very first tournament, which of these bowls is going to the dude to bring Donnie back to life? That's right. The dude. The dude. We locked it in early. Which of these bowls is going to the dude to bring Donnie back to life? Honestly, given the time frame, the dude should be in the lost spoof. <laughs> I mean, he would he would be very mellow with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Be hey, excited. man, we're stuck on an island, man. <laughs> or you just have him walking back. Anyone see my rug? You know, it's like and that's, <laughs> that's good. He should make an appearance no matter what. Also, like JJ should be there, but with the mystery box, like the mystery box oh, yeah. should be a part yeah, of it. Yeah, but the black box should be a part of it. And they go, look, it didn't break. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Part of the that's good. That's good. All right, we will count down from three to one and say in unison which of these we think is going to advance. So here's what's going to happen. The winner is going to advance to our live finale, which is coming up this next Tuesday, March 28th, with guests Nicole Byer and Lauren Lapkus. Tickets at moment.co slash doughboys. So they'll, that, that, uh, whichever wins will automatically move on to the championship. Wow. The loser is going down to the loser's bracket to face off against the other eliminated options in Fat Chance Kitchen, Bread wow. Dead Redemption. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to count down from three to one. We will say together what we think is going to the dude to bring Donnie back to life. Which bowl takes control? Which bowl wins? Which bowl and which wins? one is going to be go? It's a gutter bowl. A gutter bowl it's will going go down. straight to hell. Straight right. to hell to the man, a.k.a. Sumner Redstone. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Chipotle. Chipotle. Wow, it is a 7-10 split decision. Chipotle advances to the championship. Congratulations. It was tough for me. It was a tough Rest. call for me. But I did think Press had a better outing. I, I, I got to say that the Donnie, bring Donnie back to life, the bowling made me feel like that Chipotle bowl is, they're not messing around they're with not that. Messing the dude around. is not messing around yeah. with acai. The That's fucking, a great point. The, the Press bowl is not. Look, Press Good pressed wrong. one. Don't get mad at me because or, or Chipotle one. Don't get mad at I'm me. Not, I'm not mad pressed. at you. You know what? You know what's funny is that just when we were talking about Casey's sandwich, I was like, I ate the fucking stupid press bowl. I'm hungry. Yeah. And then when and we were just talking about Duncan, I was like, for breakfast, I'd rather have Duncan. If there was a Duncan bowl, sure, I would choose By it over way, the press bowl. Get in there because the Duncan Chino's out now. Here's what I would say that I just realized here, and we didn't even talk about this, yeah. but the idea that shouldn't we just applaud Pressed for getting this far because truly. It's a side gig of what they're known for. It's true. They're known yeah. for juices. It's true. And they were able to branch out and they got Great this point. far. Like this is true. You know, Chipotle, if they didn't get further, like this is 
this is what we are here for. The bowl it's became like, a big, like, a, became one of the tent poles of Chipotle. It's a burrito yeah. or a bowl. Yeah, or and a salad. it's and that is, you know, people don't talk about the tacos. They don't talk about the salad like they talk wow. about the bowl or the yep. burrito. So mm -hmm. I, I do believe that, like, we're looking at maybe in a couple of years, press can get all the way to the finals. If we come back to a, a munch madness, you know, that's true. Wow. So two, so Tuesday we will have Bread Dead Redemption. The winner of that will join the tournament versus Sweet Finn and Chipotle. 2006 Lakers, and maybe they'll turn into the 2000. Eight, nine Lakers that beat the Celtics. Mm, three finals, two championships. See, this should really be cool. the rivalry, but I guess you're right. He hates the Celtics more. <laughs> he, 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 he hates the Clippers more than the Celtics. Mm. God, that's I go back and forth. Uh, I, I, I have another pitch, sorry, for the lost movie, which is um, they're just like walking around the island. They're exploring. They're just like, oh, there's a Starbucks. That's good. Because they're everywhere. Uh, I, uh... That's good. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I want to just tag your joke. You were talking about the uh, smoke monster being yeah. weed. They should see the polar bear, and the polar bear should be smoking. Like, he should be smoking a big blunt. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the, and they're like, well, hey, man, aren't you supposed to be in the Arctic Circle? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm cool, man. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hey, just like a restaurant value feedback. You know let's oh, and the yeah. song, the album, the album would be like, uh, "I like big butts." I feel like that's now, yeah, you know, that's there's good. a song. Yeah. <laughs> that's I, what if what if there's like no, this isn't good. No, say it. I want to hear it. You should say it. There's like a little part where there's like a bunch of car keys, and it's like, oh, like they're lot, you know, like I like they're they're like they're having like an ice storm sort of swinger party. Oh, oh I, have, I got I got another joke. I, I'm gonna. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? That's what I, that's what I thought you were going for. That's not what you're going for. Oh, you're going for all the lost items. Like like there's a whole oh, bunch I of get lost it. items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I like that. Yeah, yeah. How about this? Uh, the guy in the the guy in the uh, the hole. Like you know when they uh, the the in the, the hole, it's uh, Polly Shore, and they go, "That's that, where you've been." That's, <laughs> that's more. See, that's that's a much better version. I was like okay. saying lost things. Yeah, and I went with car keys. No, it's fine. No, no, people lose their car and keys. And you immediately thought it was. Fucking swingers, fucking. It's like a very specific swinger thing. Mm. Uh, hey, like just like a restaurant. Tell us more about it. Let's open up the feedback today. We have an email from Billy from North Carolina. Billy writes: Is it a pineapple on your door knocker? Is that what it is? What? Yeah, is, that's the swinger thing. Is it? Yeah, Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why pineapple. do you know this? <laughs> have you been to Casey's house? <laughs> uh... Uh, you guys have spent a lot of time talking about regional pizza variants, like Detroit style Chicago deep dish, New England bar pizza, and all that. If you had it's to come up with a new back. regional pizza variant, how would it differ from normal pizza, and what part of the country would you base it in? Billy from North Carolina is asking for a new regional pizza. Uh, Sherry, raise mm, your hand. I got it. Mm -hmm. Pizza sandwich. Wow, Cross like on it. both sides, right? So you boom. LA Sounds pizza good. sandwich. Sounds good. I would like a pizza sandwich. Yeah. Like that you would have the same, like, so basically what you'd have to be doing is you're almost folding the pizza on top of each other. It's a, it's a triangular sandwich. And you put some stuff in there, maybe? I feel that's pretty good. I think that's fucking great. Yeah. yeah. You know what, my... I, here's my question. Is this... We're making up a regional pizza? I mean, that's the exercise. All right, then if we have to make up a regional pizza, I'm making a pizza pie, which is almost similar to what oh, you're yeah. saying. It's a pizza, and then there's that top crust, like a pie on top of it. Mm. Oh, so you... Like I, so like I was thinking more of like a deep dish pizza with like a crust... So, like, so when you cut yes. into it, yeah. You cut into it, yeah. What do you think of that, okay. Wags? I think that's great. I was going to say that that I think the when people think of L.A. pizza, there's it's usually like an artisan, like upscale. There isn't like a working man's pizza mm -hmm. out here, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, I, but I kind of- I think, think that it, mine would be Vegas pizza, like the pizza, because it feels like it's right. crazy. Yeah. Well, th but there's some truly trashy food that's associated with L.A. One thing, I, I mentioned the hat earlier. There's a lot of like hot pastrami out here mm -hmm. and like chili dogs. Tommy's, which is a chain we reviewed back in the day, is like chili cheese fries and chili burgers and chili dogs. It's like super heavy. One of my worst experiences was at Tommy's. Yeah. I, I, I just too messy. It's gnarly. It's gnarly I, stuff. I want to be able it. to eat. Like I mean, I get the food. Like that's the thing. I don't like anything that you can't like that's positioned as a sandwich. That I can't eat as a sandwich mm. without it dripping all over. That's a, that's a problem for me. No, that's fair. That's a fair criticism. Uh, but, but good, but good chili. But I do think of the choking on an old piece of granola. Yeah, you all right? I don't know. I was going down for a second there. I'll be, I'll be all Make right. Make that a category. Can it kill you? <laughs> But I'm thinking of the L.A. street dog specifically, which is Ooh, the bacon yeah. ramped hot dog that's got, mm -hmm. you know, a bunch of grilled veggies on top of it, mayo, ketchup, 
uh, mustard, jalapenos. It's it's a real indulgence. They sell them in street cards in L.A. Um, and uh, I I feel like there's like a version like that, like something that's just like wise. I love this. Yeah, that's like like if you just sort of say yeah. like, hey, here's the L.A. street dog pizza, and we're just gonna like, like you. Do you want it to be like an egg roll? consistency like so it's like a pizza crust but then it's like like you know like an mm. egg roll like 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 that kind of like a pizza you know stick. what i'm gonna interesting say, like an inside out egg roll like like an egg roll but on the outside is the sauce and cheese oh that's fine how do you pick it up uh Tongs? nick stick you get stick. a stick you stick, oh, a stick, stick in it all right stick i mean the, the, the solution for any sort of thing like food like that you just jam a stick okay. in it yeah a stick you yeah. stick it yeah casey where are you from remind us I'm originally from Florida. Is there a Florida style pizza anywhere? Uh, no, I, I'm from South Florida. It's like New York South kind of. There's mm. a lot of New York style pizza down there. I had a Got girlfriend it. from South Florida, and they wouldn't accept her. Oh, they actually did accept her license at a Southern restaurant. If you had a Southern ID, you could eat for ten percent off. And they said, but she was enough. Like she was enough. Uh, oh, sorry, she was Northern Florida. That's yeah. why. Oh, yeah, that, got that, it. That makes sense. Um. Well, here's my question here. Just bring it all the way back around. Mm. Pizza cookie. I have a pizza cookie. Why not? Pizza cookie sounds good. Yeah. yeah like we're talking yeah. about like, so it kind of is like a little bit like a, maybe it's the size of an English muffin. Right. Uh, you know, and it's got like, it's a savory cookie. I yeah. Don't know. I figured it out. I okay. figured out why. Like Santa would like that. Yeah. Italian Santa. Santa would love that. Yeah. It would switch things up. Italian Santa. Yeah. Yeah. What does he do? He does he like kidnap kids? He's kind of like Krampus. <laughs> um, ho, uh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got you some fresh mozza, mozzarella, mozzarella. Uh, I don't know anything about Italians. Um, but Wags, you're so here. Here it is. Yeah. The 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 middle of the stick is like a hot warm like a warm bread. And the outside, you got mm. the sauce and cheese. Then that's wrapped with bacon, so it keeps wow. all that stuff in. And that's the that's the that's the pe- that's the pizza stick. That's fun. I like that. You can also just put all the toppings on a pizza and just sort of say like, "Hey, this is a pizza." With the other it's way the pizza go. stick. I know you can do the pizza. I would just well, say look, if we're like... talking about regional LA food, it would have to be a pizza burger because I feel like LA is a burger big burger town, big burger town, that's a burger point. town. And I never like a pizza burger. Where it's like a burger with like pizza, like a mozzarella, yeah. and like, no, I don't like that. Like, you'd have to really reinvent the burger, but I think you could. I think you could do it. It'd be a lot of bread, though. It's a lot. Of, I'm talking about pizza sandwich, which is close enough to pizza burger. I think. Yeah, you need Wags, thin bread. Yeah. Forget it, Wags. It's Burger Town. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can email us at Doughboys Podcast. See, we're comedians. Leave us a voicemail at 830-GOTO. That's 830-463-6844. And that ties into just, Oscars. We're China. De- by the way, I talked to you guys about winning an Oscar for Best Screenwriting, and you just proved it with the Lost movie right here. Like, that <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I was off the dome. The tournament continues on the Doughboys Double, only at patreon.com slash Doughboys. Also, check out Doughboys Snack Pack on Spotify Live. Hang out and chat with us every Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern as we continue to fulfill our 30-week contract. Listen live on Spotify. Paul Shear. God bless you for being with us, for making so much time for us. Oh what, a, what a treat to have a you back. We've got to get you back. back for a non-tournament yeah. episode. Uh, well, it was so fun. Um, it, for the Academy to not only, first of all, it nominates Lost Movie, <laughs> and then it also wins. <laughs> no one is happy. Like They're trying to get younger viewers, and like no one no one would like yeah, the, the like, Lost Movie. This movie wasn't even successful. Should you call it Lost and Found? Or like, <laughs> That's what pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Lost like, and Found yeah. is good. The, the uh, convention, I feel like, that got settled on was ju- would just be Lost Movie, because that's what they were right, kind of yes, doing, right, you know? Yeah, but mm-hmm. I, yeah, I think there's a more clever version. Movie. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's a more clever way to do it. Uh, Sheer, anything you'd like to, to plug? No, not at all. Uh, the, just, you know, uh, if you like uh, hearing people talk about movies. And, you know, we were talking about this before. Uh, mm-hmm. Amy Nicholson and I, we were talking about uh, classic movies, good movies. Uh, and we got into a very heated debate about Creed Three recently. And, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. Well, I've you know, Amy... Amy does not like the last third of most Rocky and or Creed movies. And I was mm. like, well, then you have a problem with the entire franchise because right. you could argue the last third of every one of those movies is roughly the same. It's pr- They're pretty close. Yes. Like it's it's training. I guess for, Rocky Five is the only one that's not like that, right? Yeah, because it's like the street fight, right? The I street mean, fight. But it still ends, ends in a fight. Right, yeah. Yeah. I like Creed Day a lot. I mean, that was a delight. Yeah, I'll, for, I'll forgive her someday for for Goodfellas. Well, you don't please don't because <laughs> don't I don't forgive that. her for Goodfellas. <laughs> I'm bringing that up now. 
Uh, hey, that'll do it for this episode of Doughboys. Until next time for the Spoonman, Mike Mitchell, I'm Nick Weiger. Happy, happy eating. See ya. On the next Doughboys Double. When it comes to bread, there is more that will be said. Wow, Wags, that's right. Munch Madness 2023 Tournament of Champions Bowl continues with Bread Dead Redemption. Joe Saunders steps up to the plate to decide in Fat Chance Kitchen which grain will rain, which wheat will be beat, which dough must go. Chain one or chain two? I think that's where we're supposed to insert what the finalists are. Uh, chain but we, one or chain two? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Find out Tuesday only at patreon.com slash doughboys. Sources for the intro are in the episode description. That was a HeadGum Podcast.